So, good morning, everyone. Welcome to Four Leaf, the worst podcast on this side of the planet. I'm Clover the DM, along with our four fellow fickle friends, Medic the Monk, Bonk the Paladin, Patch the Rogue, and Hats and the Bard. And uh, last time, these four managed to get themselves in trouble by committing regicide and also escaping from the king's castle. And they are now down in the sewers here uh, with their friend that they have just now healed. Take it away. <laughs> All right, take it away. So we're still in the sewers. No way. Bonk said, "Okay." Yeah, what we're still do in the know? sewers. We brought back the we brought back the man in the house with the we fucking log trap. Himself. We brought him My back. My question is, why did he stay there? Him. Like, he's just like he knows he's good. The people are gonna come for him, and he just stays in that house. Hey. Yeah, I know. <laughs> okay, like, I'm what a, a chad. Well, it's I got, like, this is I my house. What he knows. I gotta practice my voice. Up. Hey, what's your name? <laughs> you I forgot your name already. It's been a week. I mean, uh, I'm stupid. <laughs> what's your name? <laughs> have six intelligence, which is borderline like animalistic. Just, yeah, yeah, borderline uh, animalistic. Well, since you forgot, my name is Colin Xander. Colin Xander. All right. Pleasure to meet you again in this sewer. This is basically our home now. We're sewer dwellers uh, after we killed the king. Accidentally, of course, you know, just to keep that in mind. But, uh, I'll tell you what, it's a relief to be healed more than anything. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm sure. Fucking living in this horrible neighborhood. Why are there so Bob many guards? High five him, then hit him with a too slow. Bro, don't do that to the man. Roll for too slow. Roll for too slow. <laughs> You roll to do it too slow. As you go ahead and try to do so, he manages to catch your hand as he pulls it back. Damn. Oh, well. Damn. Bonk, that bonk got made already. Damn. That was fast. It's been like, what, Let's, three uh, minutes? Let's keep walking through these doors, uh, and uh, we'll pick up rats on the way out of the town. Yes? Hmm. We can we question him rats? as we walk. Alright, what do you think we should do? Let's just, let's just go down. Bonk said, okay, what does this ruby does? Which ruby? The, the ruby? Wait a moment. You have one too? He goes ahead and pulls out the charm that he had concealed that was on his desk when Patch entered the room. This right here is a warding charm. It's what kept me safe in that cavern. From hell to back, it's what kept me safe. I'd suggest you keep it close to you. Alright. Just keep that piece of thing. What about this coin? I have like this flippy said, coin. So eat it. No, do not eat the coin. Ooh, I mean, not the coin. The, the ruby. In the air, it. And then Patch shoots it, and then it goes to somebody's head. Oh, that's what? a pretty cool coin. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> as he reaches his hand out to go ahead and inspect the coin, he realizes that it's something of magic attunement that's only aligned to you. He knows it's a magic item, but doesn't know exactly what it does, so he'll just let you explain what it does, if you ever to. Oh, uh, well, I might as well. So, uh, last time I flipped it during our little encounter there, when you were beating up my friend, uh, Bonk said, over okay, there, just Nick's. tell us what you know about Can magic. you let me speak? <laughs> So I was- I flipped the coin while you were fighting Nyx over there, and it gave me this- Bonk said no, you ape. ...stat of luck. Uh, I- I picked the wrong number, and then when I tried to go to hit you, I like fell on my face and instantly died. So, I'm as only assuming if I pick the right number, it gives me more luck. Do you think you know anything about that? <laughs> well, I've definitely never seen it before, but it sounds nice. Keep it close. Alright, cool. Alright. And also, Bonk, as you ask about the masks, uh, as of now, all I know is that they're after me. Well, I've taken about how many of them? Fifty down now. Jesus. I've seen, Jesus. I've seen them all fly off. But at this point, I'm not sure where they're even heading. It could be somewhere far away from here to close to now. Uh, what do you know? What do you about? Like, okay. What do you know about the uh, obelisk? That weird thing in the woods. said, "Do you have any pet food?" <laughs> yes. Pet food. Pet food. Uh, I don't have any pet food on me, but I guess I have some chips. I think the, I think the crocodile is gonna like the chips. said, "Give me you that." Probably, you know, unless he eats you. Yeah. All right, roll for persuasion to hand over chips. Okay. You roll a sixteen. He successfully. Uh, you go ahead and hand over the chips. Uh, you now possess that bag of chips. Uh, just right there, you got him. How do we procure chips in this place? Bonk said, "I feed that to the rats." Oh God. The, the rats. rats are all now nice and healthy. Yes. So, anyways, Xander continues. So, seeing that you have that ruby there, I guess that means somehow they're still getting supplies of these gems. I'm guessing we gotta find out where they're even getting them from so we can get one for the rest of you guys. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you over all the riz in the room. What, what was that? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, Xander continues. Said, Suger, Daddy. God damn it. Xander continues. 
Well, seeing that, well, Bonk has a gem there, I'm guessing that they're still supplying these, so we gotta figure out where they're getting them from so we can get one for the rest of you. Oh, okay. Alright, so where do you think that would be? Well, seeing that Bonk my general... Said, how do you know my name? <laughs> we told him that. Miss... <laughs> and by that, I mean you guys' mouths. <laughs> my Bruce mouth is very through. big for that. Pause. Now, <laughs> anyways. Sorry. <laughs> So, pull up my scarf real quick. Cover it in the mouth. <laughs> so, see, as Xander continues, so, seeing that my general is the one who supplied me this, I'm guessing that maybe somewhere in the barracks off in this side of town might have them. Alright, barracks it is. Um, so, quick question if we go to the barracks, are we immediately gonna get shot and die? Well, they don't exactly welcome any kind of civilians normally you need to have some sort of well military experience to even be allowed in do you have any kind of affiliation that could get us inside Bonk easier? said i do well i was part of the well expedition group so yes i do i actually know where this one is on this side of town there's four of them one for each side all right let's go then you lead the way we can Bonk pose said i do us well ian bonk can pose as beast tamers you are <laughs> beast tamers why do you have to pose as someone <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I have a question. Uh, yes, Patch? My guy. Two cars and a soldier. Uh, how do they, like, we're just going straight to the barracks, right? Uh, That's yeah. That's the plan. And what? if we have to, we'll make Frank eat four people. Why Dude. four specifically? Why four? Because <laughs> it's an unlucky number in Bonk Chinese. said I want to teach the rats to dance. Okay, Mista. Okay. <laughs> oh, we um, have to teach them combat. Bonk said Wait, roll for dead. Oh, let, 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 let Pat speak. Let Pat speak. Yeah, please. Do, do, do they re like respect and like nobility or royalty in there? Well, they allowed this town's royalty. Honestly, this town doesn't have connections to too many other towns. It's a military state, if anything. Okay, so let's say hypothetically, um, one of our party members here pilfered and stole a king's robe and crown. Is that Bonk frowned said, upon, or can we disguise as him? <laughs> I'd be amazed if that worked, but if you really want to be suicidal like that, then go right ahead. Oh no, Bonk's gonna fucking do it. <laughs> He's gonna... It if it's suicidal, it's just his thing. So um, I don't know. Maybe we could just send him out wearing the cape and you know you could and, and the crown and see what happens. All right, Bonk as the you know me, fist bomb. <laughs> as the as the four of you go ahead and lift the manhole cover, you're treated by the streets. And as you go ahead, Colin Xander leads you over to where the barracks are in the east side of town, bordering where the wall of the city is. Hmm. You are met with the barracks. A large metal and glass just building secured in every way possible, but it seems vacant. How would you like to approach the building? Um, I'll let Colin go first. I think everyone should Bonk agree with said that. said I one. want to act extremely drunk now. <laughs> no! Act extremely drunk. What, no, what is that going to do, what? good or bad? What? How is that going to help? You know, let's just let Bonk <laughs> get it out of his system before you know we do what? any yeah, actual plans. Just, yeah, just, <laughs> yeah, just let Bonk get, get it out. Roll for drunk. Fake drunk. <laughs> Yeah, roll for drunk. drunk. He rolls a 17. <laughs> okay. As he stumbles, uh, as he stumbles oh, towards the, as he stumbles towards the barracks, nothing seems to happen out of the ordinary. It seems like he can just go ahead and progress without anything happening. It seems like any kind of outside defenses are steer clear. Seriously. Okay. Bonk said bang on the door. My my, my brother in Christ. How is Bonk getting away with this? Bonk is just <laughs> a, a fourth dimensional being. He doesn't exist in our plane of reality. Okay. All right, let's follow this drunk master. So what do we what do we see as soon as we get inside, or the main? This entrance. is this is Bonk walking into the barracks. <laughs> <laughs> Just the conga line. The fucking demo. Conga line. <laughs> so, as you go ahead and meet up near the entrance, you realize that this Bonk is not the I only want to way kick in. Down the door. Bruh. <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> Who knows if there even is a door? We don't know. Upon, upon, upon closer inspection of the barracks, you see the front gate. And you see the back entryways. There could be more ways, but you'd need to check for that. Uh, okay, roll for perception to see other entrances. Yeah. Ooh, roll for perception, alright. Oh, both of you? Yeah. Alright. Why not all four of us? That's I mean, a good question. screw it, all of you can go ahead and check. Alright, so, uh, Patch successfully notices, thanks to their keen thieves' eye, they notice an opening on the roof of the barracks. It seems to be some sort of sunroof that was left. Alright, let's split up, oh. gang. Patch, you go for the sunroof, Bonk and I will go main entrance, and hat's in your choice. 
All right, got you. Uh, I'll go through the back door, Bonk. Who do you? Okay, since you have medic, Bonk I, I'll said take I will Frank. Bring Frank. Oh, okay. Never mind. You can take Frank then. Give him Frank, bro. Be, be fair. Come on. <laughs> no. All right. All right. It's fine. So. All right. All right. You so, take Frank. I'll take the rats. Hatch goes ahead and gets to the top thanks to their just great dexterity abilities. They just hop right up there. Uh, as they peer through the sky roof, the room they're treated with seems to be a uniform line of made beds. All of them seem to be perfectly neat and made, as though they've Bonk just been taken made. care of. Huh. Well, that's nice. I'm gonna hop in there. Real Bro. Quick. <laughs> this I, is not I'm the gonna time. I'm gonna check if anybody's in there. I'm gonna check if anybody's in there. <laughs> As you inspect through the room, you see nothing but the quiet dust Bonk filtering said, through the room. In, Patch. <laughs> All right, I'm hopping in. All right, Patch hops on down. All right, now, uh, as for, uh, we'll uh, switch over to Hatson here. You said you went to the back door, Hatson? Yes, and the rats are going through the sewer, uh, up their toilets. As you try to go through the back entrance, you are met with a lock that seems to be supplying whatever the entrance way is. Mm -hmm. Do you wish to try to go ahead and make a lock pick check? Uh, I'm gonna try and get the rats to open the door. For bonk me. said, "Do a bonk and hit it." And they do. Ooh, that. Do a try bonk. to get the rats to hold on. Let me just let me check the rat stats. <laughs> Roll for rats. Yeah. Roll for yeah, rats. Let, let, let me see the rats' dexterity to There's see how good they can do that. There's eight, eight of them. Eight of them. <laughs> they have a they have eleven decks. Are you kidding me? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Let's rat. go! I don't even right. have to roll! Thanks to animal friendship, uh, the rats go ahead and attempt to uh, unlock the door with their lockpicking prowess. And not! They okay. roll it! They got a 15! That's to pass the check, and it worked! Uh, thanks to their uh, 15 roll, they were able to gnaw through the lock, opening the back door. Bog said <laughs> smart rats. We love rats. Let's go. And uh, while, meanwhile, uh, freaking Medic and uh, Bonk, both of you, go through the front Bonk entrance said Frank. door. Let's get this, bitch. <clears throat> so, Bonk. Bonk said Frank busted down. <laughs> As you unlock the back door, uh, Hatson, you are met with a sudden sharp sound before all falls quiet after the creaking ends. You appear to be in some form of armory, met with the sight of shining, imposing armor that seems to have been worn by the guards when they're on duty. Oh, shit. Do some pilfering. The room, however, is I'm the quiet. least wanted person out of all of our group. They probably want to go for the others first. I mean, a disguise. Ooh, disguise! How do you wish to do so? Hon, hon, hon. Um, by disguise. What do you mean, how? By wearing the armor I see in front of me that the guards wear. Oh, you know what? All right then. You go ahead and uh, let's make. Let's Bonk see how good your disguise is. Outfit. Roll for that. No. <laughs> he rolls a oh, seventeen. Damn. It is a very good disguise. You will have advantage on any checks here in the future thanks to your really good armor. They're gonna have to beat that seventeen in order to get past it. Plus, you have a uh, advanced skill on that thanks to your costumes in your backpack since you're a bard for performance. So you, they have to beat a 19 roll in order to see you. Good lord. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. All right. Now, okay. as Bonk and Medic, as Bonk and Medic both kick down the door, they're met with a cold breeze of air flowing through the doors, piercing your nose as you're met with the distilling quiet. The lights are off with only some distant ear indiscernible sounds audible within the distance, mostly muffled due to all the loud marching down the streets. Bonk said tell Frank to smell for people. Good, good idea, good idea. Check how yes. many people are inside. Ooh. So, as f let's see, and uh... Alligator just by the way, they have keen smell, by the way, so they have advantage. <laughs> and they rolled an 18. <laughs> Frank goes ahead Frank goes ahead and sniffs out the area, and they notice this hint, just a small hint of smoke, as though some torches had recently been put out. Mm. Okay, some torches have been recently put out. So Medic and Bonk, you two shall go first here, and Bonk then I'll, said, I'll rotate between all of you. Bonk looks for a basement, alright. All right. As you as you inspect the room, you see that this seems to be a one-floor establishment. The foundation is stiff concrete, and it doesn't seem to go down in any way. Okay. Uh, I'm traumatized from traps from entering Colin's house, so I'm just gonna, like, roll perception to see if there's any defense inside. Ooh. Okay, good job, me. All right, you only roll a five, but uh, slap medic. so you notice nothing out of the ordinary. You just notice a singular door on the other side of the room. All right. All right, uh, Patch, how do you wish to do things? Bonk roll for nap medic effect on the back. What? Uh, Patch, it is your turn. You're in the be you're like in the bedroom area right now. What do you wish to do? I'm gonna search everything. Search everything. Okay. <laughs> everything. Search everything. Okay. 
That's oh my God. funny. Hold on, where's the oh. set? There it is. All right. <laughs> Amongst the several rows of beds, despite the hurried state that they all must have came through, most of the beds are neatly made in uniform despite the rush. One blood ever- uh, One blood. <laughs> 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 it never happened, never happened, ignore it. Cut it out. Editor, editor cut it out, cut it out, editor, cut it <laughs> So, one bed seems to just be ever so slightly off with a frayed end that isn't fully tucked under the mattress. It can be seen with a small blood stain against the pillow. Mm. And that was a voice crack. Uh, editor, cut also, it out. <laughs> Sorry. You also, you also notice two main doors, one in front of you and one behind you on each side of the bed hall. Okay. I want to check out that little blood stain there real quick. Ooh, roll for investigation? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bog yeah. said maybe they burned Botus. <laughs> roll a nine. Oh no! <laughs> Looking at the blood stain, there doesn't seem to be too much discernible but from it, but it's certainly human blood. Oh, okay. Okay. Alright, Hatson, what would you like to do now that you're disguised with one of the armor sets? Uh, I'm gonna... Bog said rats. <laughs> I'm gonna go to- well, I mean, there's only one direction I can move, so I, I gotta go that way, right? Well, there's two doors in the room. You see one locked, secluded door, and you see one much more broader door that has a padlock on it. Mm. Why is everything locked in this fucking place? Yeah, like, you need, like, 14 keys? Like, it's, it's like that well, one I mean, scene you have in like Willy Wonka where he's got, like, a, a giant-ass, like... Anyways, um... Well, how about I just destroy both locks first, and then I decide where to go. Uh, Alright, which lock do you wish to attempt? The secluded the door, big, or the padlock? The padlock. The padlock, okay, let's see. If uh, you want the rats to do this? Uh, well, the rats do one, I'll do the other. Hmm? Alright, so the rats, the rats manage to chew through the lock leading to the padlock door, however the secluded door is far too tough, and they don't manage to gnaw through it. Really? Damn. Yes. So, the padlock door is uh, openable now. Do you wish to go through? Uh, let me unlock the other door first. Take a little peek. Take a little peek. I will, I will, uh, use a lockpick for myself oh. instead of the rats. Alright, you go ahead and try to open that door. Unfortunately, okay. with a 10, it's not enough to get through. The door is just far too difficult to pick lock with yourself. Hey, I'm gonna need patch or something for this. Okay, <laughs> I'll go, to, yeah. I'll go through the padlock down. door. As you open up the padlock door, Patch is met with the sight of you coming through the back door. Oh, oh hi! What? How are you doing? How? Hi, Patch. Can you help me with this lock? <laughs> sure, just go! <laughs> so, yes, this storage room and the bedrooms were both connected. Huh, okay. I mean, Anybody? in hindsight, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Wait, and you can disguise too. Yeah. You can disguise too. Let's go. Oh, Patch, do you wish to roll for disguise? Yeah. Patch goes ahead and tries to disguise. <laughs> unfortunately, unfortunately, the armor is much too bulky for them to move efficiently, so they figured they'll just rely it's on the dexterity big. instead. I'm too, too tiny. Yeah. Let's go. All right, Patch. What do you wish yeah. to do? I'm gonna pick lock the lock that Hatton can open. All right, and don't you have a skill bonus on this? Yes. Uh, sorry, I don't have the sheet on me. Do you mind if you mention it to me? One trillion. Here, let me. Uh, ba -ba -da -ba -ba. I can't open that because otherwise you guys would see the background. Just, just trust me. Patch has a has a natural plus twenty to lock picking. <laughs> yes. All right. No, I. Uh, there's a certain something there that you should not be knowing. Uh, yeah, that's backstories. None of you guys are supposed to know each other's backstories. Yeah. Plus twenty. <laughs> one of these days, Patch is gonna try and disarm a trap and then roll like a one and then just get <laughs> like blown up. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> yeah. kaboom. Alright, alright, Patch. So, uh, with you have how much dex? Like a plus three or plus four, right? Uh, my dexterity is. Because your dexterity is what's better. Okay, so you have a plus three, and you took a plus two in uh, yeah, sleight of hand, right? Yeah. All right, so with the plus five, as well as your proficiency bonus... No, 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 sleight of hand is plus three, too. Oh, so... Oh, shoot, so you have... Okay, it's five, and then you have an extra plus two thanks to the thieves' tools, meaning you have a plus seven on this roll. Good lord. With advantage, by the way. So let's go ahead and pick this lock. All right, with the 13, you managed to get that plus seven up to a modified 20. You actually managed to go ahead and open the door. Nice. As you open the secluded steel door, uh, you notice that it's kind of strangely heavy. Do you wish to go into the room right now, or do you wish to explore other areas? Uh, 
Uh, I got Hatson with me. Bonk well. said wait for us. Yeah, nah, we got it. Let's just keep going. Let him do their thing. Yeah. You know what, Hatson? Let's just try attempt to open it. Let's, like, yeah, let's go, Patch. Let's check it out. Alright, the two of you go ahead and try to just bosh on through that door, but unfortunately the two of you with a 9 and a 10 are not strong enough to push this door down. God damn it! Bonk! Oh, oh, you guys. Me and bonk. This is why I, I was I should have taken Frank, okay? <laughs> Medic uh, and Bonk's turn. Bonk All right, now you do. come running back. <laughs> Alright, Bonk, let's just go down that uh, that little door over there down the hallway. What do you think? Alright. So, as the two of you open up the door, you're met with the sight bonk of the bed hall. just flick it to open it. Wait, what? Wait, oh, another bed, the hall. bed hall. Wait, the same one or a different one? You notice a door on the other side of the room that's open. It seems to be a, supp a supply room of sorts. Oh, yep. Okay, we just went full circle. Alright, where are you two? Uh, Alright, so, uh, as the four of you all finally meet up, you now are in the back room. Do you wish to go ahead and make that strength check, Bonk and Medic? To the back rooms. Let a, let's to use our combined strength to open this fucking door. The two of them go ahead with their manly manliness. Bonk said, let me slap it. <laughs> with your plus... got the gator. With your, you forgot oh, the with gator. The ga yes, right. With, with the, the gator. gator. With the gator. With the gator. Oh, <laughs> with your combined, with your combined strength, he! to a DC. With your combined strength equaling to a DC 37, you absolutely mow that door down. <laughs> <laughs> it just, fl it just flings onto the opposite side of the room, clanging against the wall. Thanks, guys. <laughs> uh, no problem. No problem. No need to thank As me. Monk said, "What about you're the, the rats? real hero?" The rats are not involved in this matter. They are not strong enough for this. Yes, As the four, of you go, the four of you go ahead and try to enter the room, the last one to enter, however, Hatson, is met with an arm on his shoulder. <laughs> uh, As he looks behind him, he sees no eyes staring back, but however, a darkness from armor itself. Uh, what the fuck? Th this is some Scooby-Doo type shit. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, so it's a fucking ghost! Oh my god. <laughs> ghost! Hatson, you get one chance here. How do you wish to respond to this ar armor having a hand on your shoulder? I'm gonna, I'm gonna scream <laughs> so loud. Like, I, no, actually, that's not it. Roll for scream. Roll for scream. He yeah. rolled a four. I roll he tries to let out ah! a giant scream, but he only lets out what can be considered as a quiet whimper. <laughs> Oh, oh I'm great. so dead. After hearing the pathetic sound, the, all of you turn around and see the armor. Go ahead and roll initiative. Oh, hell yeah. Alright, so, Medic, Bonk, Patch, Hatson. Holy what shit! The Three eighteens. Alright, then I'll just- Alright, so if you ever tie, I'll just go in dice order, so that means Medic goes, Bonk goes, Patch goes, and then Hatson goes. Alright, so... Medic, you are going first uh, with disadvantage here since it's the first turn. You guys are all surprised. You start with one turn of disadvantage. How do you wish to do this? All right, uh, let's just go for the classic. Oh, I don't know. Go and punch it in the fucking teeth. Well, not <laughs> lack thereof of teeth. Lack thereof of teeth. <laughs> okay, you know what? That's not a bad idea. Let's go for that. With disadvantage, however, you go ahead. Okay. Ah. You only roll an 18, it is not enough to hit the armor as you go ahead and try to punch it, it just clangs against the armor. Did you say only an 18? I meant an 8, my bad. Okay, I was gonna say. <laughs> only an 8, only an 8. Only an 8, I was gonna be like, alright, let's run. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fuck. Well, that didn't go well. Alright, someone else take it. Alright, uh, Bonk next said, up is use Bonk. command for it to kneel. Ooh, Bonk uses his first paladin spell. He uses a strong commanding word, telling it to kneel. The armor actually goes ahead and puts one knee on the ground and one hand towards the ground as well. It is now like this for one turn. Hey, smart. Good shit, Bonk. Good shit. All right, know. next up is Patch. Yeah, I was literally gonna be saying deuces and just disappear, but never mind. Oh. Ew. <laughs> don't, don't, <laughs> don't do it. I'm not gonna do it. Um. What? I, I want to check him out. Not like in a like Riz way, but I want to check him out. Let's check him. Let's check him out. But it's like perspective. you wish to inspect. Yeah, inspect him, basically. All right, roll for inspection here. You roll a seven, unfortunately. <laughs> Motherfucker. Although you don't notice much on him, all you really see is that his armor is slightly scratched up more than some of the others. Oh. Well, that was useful. 
All right, uh, the armor is kneeling, so his turn is skipped to kneel. Uh, Hatson, it is your turn. I send in the rat. Send in the animals. I am going to ask Frank to maul the armor apart, so the ghost has no physical form, and the rats will do the same. All right, he goes ahead and uses his because animal. Let's roll no for animal handling. Form inside of the uh, inside of the. All right, let's roll for animal handling on both checks here. He rolls a 19 and a 10. Holy shit! And what does plus two to animal handling? That's a modified 21. Frank goes ahead and does that. Let's see uh, crocodile stats here. Crocodile what about that? <laughs> crocodile stats. Crocodile stats. All right. Holy so what crocodile is that what has... Frank looks like? <laughs> no. <laughs> so the crocodile goes ahead and attempts to maul the armor. Let's see how well it rolls on its uh, attack here. No! Oh, on that one. That's a critical failure as it goes ahead and attempts to maul the armor mm. apart. His teeth are just slightly hurt like he just chewed Aww. a jawbreaker. And he's slightly sad and just backs <laughs> up a little bit. <laughs> oh no. No, oh now this armor's gonna fucking die. Nobody and for the rats, since you, and for the rats, since you got a positive, all of them go ahead and try to land some hits. Bonk said you are disappointment, Frank. A two a two and a fifteen for the three yeah, rats commanding. Uh, those they they all try to go ahead and attack, but only one rat really manages to get a nibble. They go ahead and pierce a tiny hole into one of the <laughs> one of the little bits of the armor. It rolls a one and does one damage. That's accurate. <laughs> all right, it is back to medic's turn. All right, uh, I'm gonna go for martial arts, then uh, use my bonus action to do it fucking twice. I'm getting sick of this guy. Ooh, two rolls here. All right, you go ahead. You don't have disadvantage this time. Ooh! And with your pluses here, because your proficiency, you have a, believe, plus four to hit? Yep. That's actually enough to meet its armor class! Both hits connect! Hell yeah! Would you like to go ahead, now that you've hit it, would you like to use any extra things, like your key or anything like that? Uh, fuck, what are, what are the key options again? I know there's... You have Flurry of Blows, it. Step of the Wind, and uh, Disengage and Dash. So, tell me, tell me Flurry of Blows, I'm gonna do this. So. Flurry of Blows lets you gain an additional two extra unarmed hits. Uh, yes. Let's use some key right now. Let's go fucking Liu right. Kang on Medic this bitch. Medic, Medic has gone ahead and landed two direct blows. He goes ahead and tries to land another two. One of them actually connects, landing three direct blows. You know, when oh, this armor is just like... Oh, he does 16 <laughs> damage in one rush. He just absolutely pummels the armor with a freaking flurry of blows, denting some of the armor in pieces. Bonk said medic special, baby. Oh yeah, baby, that's... that's... I'm him! I'm him. <laughs> the armor is absolutely dented, and, and despite the fact that that armor has been pummeled so badly, his fists aren't even hurt a little bit from punching the metal. Bonk, it's your turn. Bonk, Bonk how do you said, wish to handle uh, uh, uh. this? <laughs> Roll for laughter. <laughs> Alright, Bonk, what's your plan now that this armor is dented? Come on, bro, capitalize. He's fucking on the ropes. The demon core is activating in his mind. <laughs> he doesn't have brain cells, he just has a singular demon core. <laughs> <laughs> it's either completely inactive or, like, foolproof. Nuclear. Nuclear. Bonk said smite him. Smite the arm. Okay, he goes for a full smite strike with his freaking halberd. Uh, if I remember with his weapons of proficiency, that's a plus five to hit. Let's see if he lands it. <laughs> it's a nat one. <laughs> As he goes ahead and tries to land the hit on the armor. Monsoon. Monsoon. The halberd passes through the gun. The armor passes Monsoon. through the gap. And now your halberd is stuck. The armor goes ahead and uses a retaliation action. It uses its first attack, slam. Bonk said, I'm going to KMS. <laughs> He got a 16. With the modified Monsoon. plus 4 here, it lands a modified 20 and grabs your halberd and flips backwards to slam you into the ground. Monsoon. Man, Bonk is getting fucking Bonk robbed. said, now you have made me oh. mad. And now uh, he goes ahead and does his damage here. Oh, he does his beefy 7 damage to Bonk here. And uh, for its sec second action, uh, said, yes, it has 2. Uh, it goes ahead and tries to turn around and hit Medic. Bonk said nothing. Excuse me? Uh, it's a 12, it manages to beat your armor class, Med. Fuck. He goes ahead and tries to use Slam once again, and he takes a beefy 8 damage total right, with buddy. the modifier. Alright, buddy. Ooh, this, this armor's resilient. It is now Patch's turn. Sneak er, 
Ooh, you want to go ahead and hide in the shadows and try that? Yep. Alright, let's see if you can pass the passive perception. Oh. Nat 20! You oh. practically become one with the darkness. Even <laughs> Amongst the dark shadows of the room, the only thing visible is just the gleaming armor. It's like you're not even there. Alright, and now it's time for the armor's turn. Oh. Oh dear. The armor goes ahead and tries to search, but it's not enough to beat the check. It goes ahead and tries to attack one of you now. Let's see how it lands. Ooh, it's enough to hit hats, and let's see how it gets hit with this one. He takes a brutal six damage, slamming him with his full body weight. Bro, this armor is a bit. <laughs> All right, Hatson, it is your turn. Frank, use tail whip. <laughs> well, why do I have to? Why do I have to roll a check for animal handling? Because that's a... loyal to us. Yes, but like, if you're not good at like, here's the thing: dog trainers, right? They don't just make dogs do flips just because of their like. All right, if you have a pet dog, can you make him do a flip? Do a flip? No, probably not. <laughs> I don't have a dog. Exactly. If. So, um, anyways. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Take that, atheist. <laughs> Just roll it. <laughs> All right, roll for Never. animal handling. Whatever. He oh. rolls a four. Yeah, there uh, you the, go. The, the crocodile's morale is still very hurt, and his self-esteem is kind of low after biting that armor. Someone just comfort sitting, that gator. The gator's just sitting, just like, I don't want to do this. I don't want to be here. No I'll more. be here no more. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah. All right, medic, I, it I is your turn that. once again. All right, I'm just gonna use up the rest of my key. Give me the four flurry of blows. Give me the fuck. Give me the. Give him the wombo combo special. I'm sick of this guy. Oh, goes for four punches. He rolls a nat twenty on one of them and a seventeen on another, landing one critical hit amongst those punches. Oh wait, hold on. I know orcs have brutal attack, right? Since I got a critical hit, do I get another on our strike? Oh, you do. That's right, you I've, do. I've got savage so, attacks. All right, so amongst, uh, let me check your freaking melee damage here. Uh, thank you, monks. Uh, sheet. Okay, our martial arts are 1d4 plus the thingy majiggy here, meaning that you roll not just 2d4s for your critical hit plus the modifier, you roll another two for the crit and the one that hit. <laughs> oh, oh, he lands another 13 damage as well. over. If this thing survives freaking like 29 damage. <laughs> And with, the, and with the plus two on each of those die, by the way, that's a 23. So he's dead, right? You know, I'm kind of... He's a bunch 23 of plus demon. the 16 or, or what, 19 you already rolled? Instead of focusing on all of the armor, he focuses on one point punching a hole straight through the armor. Mm. With all those theories of punches, the armor is then laid dormant on the ground. Nothing possessing it no longer. It has been defeated. And that's how you do it, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> all you see all you see is a little All you see is a little bit of smoke coming off of it from the heat from when the collision happened. Bro. Oh wait, so I don't have to do anything. I could still say yeah, uh, you, you I, can really just stay said, invisible. I really said I really said bye. <laughs> I'm out. Bye. I literally just did this later. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's literally the piece now. Oh my gosh. At the same time. Wait, where's the sound effect? I know I have the sound effect of that. <laughs> Wait, Bonk wants to absorb his soul. Interesting. Whoa. All right. What? Let's see. He rolls a two. Oh, no, it didn't work. I don't think as he did. Bonk as Bonk touches the armor, a bit of his soul is absorbed into the armor. Oh. His yeah. soul? Wait a minute. <laughs> He didn't do too good, but oh well, nothing much happened. <laughs> okay. Can I look? I want to look. Yeah, let's inspect any. Yeah, let's thing. inspect it. Bonk said, yeah. "Let me try aging." Again. <laughs> uh, no. Sorry. Uh, so hold on. Let's follow order here, medic. Uh, what did you want to do? Uh, I'm gonna inspect the armor, see if there's anything out of place about it. Maybe obelid fucking those sigils or some stupid mask hidden in the armor or something. I don't know. Let's just check. As you. All right. Actually, let me roll a roll here. He rolls a nat one. I'm blind uh, now. <laughs> although he doesn't notice much about the armor, he does notice a pretty cool looking ant to the right of it. Oh, nice! Yo, Bonk, tame this so, one. Like, like, but he, it's a it's a really cool looking ant though. Bonk, tame this shit. Bonk shape. said, "Make Frank look at it." An albino ant. <laughs> make Frank. All right. Was ahead and makes a perception check with Frank, rolling only a three. Unfortunately, his morale is still super hurt by the sun. Okay, someone, someone needs to comfort Frank. Someone has to comfort Frank. Someone give him some morale boost. 
Wait, wait, inspire, 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 inspire him, yeah! Bonk said, let me pip talk J him. <laughs> Alright, uh, Bonk and Hatson both collaboratively work to go ahead play and this help music. the morale. <laughs> Ode oh, to okay. Motherland. A nap, bro, who rolled a one? <laughs> the, song, the song doesn't help, but thankfully, Bonk's words of inspiration help Frank to get back up on his four little feet again. Yay. Nice job, Bonk. All right. How do you four wish to continue now? Also, by the way, I just want to mention for winning that fight. The CCP. If I remember, if I remember, that was a challenge rating of one, so you get 200 XP for that. Oh hell yeah! Where's the sound? Where's the sound? There we go. There you go. So that was a beefy 200 XP for each of you. That's crazy. Monk said, "I'm still ahead." All wait, right. wait a minute. Where the hell is Colin in all of this? <laughs> Who's Colin? <laughs> Ring ring! Are you... Oh, all right. Uh, but, ring. but anyways, in case you were wondering, he was staying uh, behind. Oh, wait, that's Colin. He's in here. Got nice face. Because just... don't forget, he did work. He did work here. So unfortunately, if anyone were to see him, he'd kind of be in trouble here. Bonk said, ah. "Clover." Uh, yes, Bonk. You say hit him in the gut. Hit who in the gut? Colin? Who is him? Please elaborate. <laughs> For real. <laughs> <laughs> Elaboration. Bonk said, let me open the door and do it too slow. You already Bro. knocked off the door, off the hinges. I think you, you rolled a collective 37. <laughs> Is there anything else so in this I... fucking place? Well, you guys haven't went to the room yet. Also, oh, wait. Hansen, uh, what do you wish to do with the room? Bonk said, fine, let me walk over there then. We should probably follow Bonk. <laughs> Alright, so, as all of you go ahead and walk inside the office, uh, by the way, I will mention you are humming, Hanson, we can hear it. But, uh, anyways, Hanson, shut the fuck up! <laughs> Sorry. Thank you. I just so, that. Oh. Fair enough. So, as you go inside the office, you see many sheets thrown across the cramped metallic room, being as minimal as could be. Whoever, like, leads this place does not like decoration. What a lame ass. <laughs> Alright, Hanson, what do you wish to do in this room? Bonk said, bye. Uh, all eight of our rats have passive perception. <laughs> That's a phrase not many people can say. <laughs> that is one of these sentences of all time. <laughs> all eight of our rats have passive Send perception. Send them out. Scout the root. Holy shit. Oh my god. Oh my rats god. So, as they all scour the room, room, as they all scour the room, rats two, three, and four both manage to <laughs> sniff out something in the file cabinet. have names, okay? I named them all. We can't we are pronounce not, the names. We are not going through that list. Not <laughs> so, that list. as the three of those rats find it out in the file cabinet, the three of them all chew through some of the papers and notice that there is a little lever hidden in the file cabinet. Ooh, pull it. Pull it. Go pull it. Let's pull the lever! Pull the lever! Wait, no. Pull! Wait, what? Bonk being smart? What All the right. fuck? Me Hold on. Wait. Sorry, Medic. You made the action already. Bonk said it's a trap. Medic goes ahead and wait. flicks the lever. Wait, 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 wait. I'm going to dodge it before he does. I'm Bonk said dumbass. He, he rolls a five and doesn't manage to dodge the little finger trap as a little mouse trap snaps down on his finger. Oh, Ow! Come on, man. What is it with me and traps? <laughs> Ow, you're, uh, ow, 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 Hudson, ow, your, your, your rat's name is ow, Bing Chilling. Ow, ow, God, I mean. get this shit off my finger. However, as the switch was flipped, you notice a small click coming from the desk as you Bonk notice a little drawer is there so that wasn't there before. Ugh, okay, so so goes ahead and takes care of the rats. Big beefy medic took it, okay? We don't care about him. <laughs> what? Okay, All okay, right, yeah, so yeah, I didn't hear you saying that when I punched that ghost to death. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a phrase many people can say either! <laughs> okay, can I, can I attempt to fix Medic's fingers since oh, they oh, only fuck. care about the animals right now? Ooh, oh, fix his finger, that's a neat one. Alright, let's see how you roll. God. You roll a three. God, Don't make it I'm worse! <laughs> Fine, let me help him. You, you take a sheet of the paper and wrap it around his finger. <laughs> I mean, it's, 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 not, it's, not a, it's not a sharp pain, it was blood force, but I mean, Bonk hey. Said, get me some rat hair for you. Hey, thanks, Pat. Uh, just a thought that counts. <laughs> okay, wait, hold on. Since 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 me and Bonk both have healy healy effects, let's uh, heal up the team. All right, sounds Ooh, good. Very nice. All right, would you like to take a short rest here? Yeah. Let's oh yeah, we could rest. do that. I need my key All back right. anyway. Let me meditate. Bonk said, "Let me very smart for heal." Medic. Very smart of medic. Uh, he restores his key points that he both used up. Which, by the way, <sighs> I am so glad you guys remembered that. So, as all of you go ahead and rest up. 
uh, Bonk uh, just uses his lay on hands to heal the people as well as pa uh, Hatson's nice little melody here. Uh, sing us a song, Hatson. Take it away. Oh god, he's uh, so sad. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, That's the wrong oh, Beautiful melody heals through their veins as their wounds are magically becoming healed with one of their hit die as the family is all reached up to max health. And yes, I called it the family because that's what you guys are basically at this point. <laughs> so, the four of you are all nicely healed. Thank you for the song, Hatson. And now, all of you are now Bonk said, prepared can I with the teach Frank Common? Can I teach Frank Common? I don't think you can teach Frank how to speak. I don't know. It could just be me. Wait, can you teach Frank how to speak? Teach him uh, Chinese. Frank, if, Frank, if Frank gets enough intelligence, uh, for example, uh, six intelligence is enough to speak with, like, while messing up a bunch of words. Are you fucking kidding me? So that means Frank can have Tourette's? <laughs> can speak. That's another what? sentence that we wouldn't think to hear in our lifetime. <laughs> So, uh, anyways, as you go ahead and look at the desk thanks to the new dress, uh, dresser drawer that Bonk just appeared said, thanks to the switch. Flowers. So, who would like to read the documents? I will. Wait. I I'm can't Bonk read it. Wait, I will. I will. I will. I will. I will. Wisdom and Bonk said, let me. Bonk, no, you're just gonna, like, spit all Bonk over it. It, 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 was, it was Patch's turn. Will, it was Patch's turn. Will, it was Patch's turn. I'm gonna turn. fucking read it. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm backing away. Bonk said, nerd. <laughs> All right. Inside details a description mentioning many names, listing several redacted names and areas <laughs> regarding information with crystals. You Ooh. see something labeled Expedition Eight. Hey. Expedition Eight. Is this what Colin was as doing? You, as you, he was in Expedition Seven. Oh shit. Wait. As, as you look, look, as you look through the sheets, you don't notice too many paths or locations mentioned. However, one sticks out to you in particular: Excavation Site Eight, Stale Frot Mountain. Four crystals awaiting deliverance. Oh uh, yeah, let's go intercept this bitch. We're going no mountain hike. No directions are given, but a location is now known. Clover, Clover, the animals don't need crystals. Bonk said, right? I want to compare handwriting to the first note. Compa oh. Ooh! Okay, okay. Hatson goes ahead and compares the handwriting. Let's see. He rolls a nat 20! Bro. Oh, that is Bonk beautiful. Said, you me, right? No. It was... Yeah, Bonk. My bad. Bonk. No, it was uh, Hatson. Yes. It was definitely Hatson. Hatson's the text of speech now. <laughs> it, was Hatson. it, was Hatson. it was all Hatson. Pat's on the back for Hatson. <laughs> you're such a great... You're, you're amazing, dude. You're, you're Holy, so dude, you're awesome. You're so intelligent, bro. Hats in the house. Hats in the house. Hats in the house. Even Bonk's convinced. <laughs> so, you, Bonk, as you compare you. the two notes, you, you, you notice that the handwriting seems to differ completely between Bonk's the two. dumbass. <laughs> One of them seems to be in a much more pensive cursive, being much more formal than the other note. This one seems to be written in a much more hurried and rushed manner, with much more bumpy writing. I've never Yikes. heard writing described as bumpy before, and I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, I'm, let's just go tell Colin about this shit. Hey, dude! They're doing it again! We gotta go stop this. We gotta go find out what's going on. It's the third time this week, and it's only Monday! Bonk said he need to compare his so, writing. Now, as all of you go to leave the building, Patch manages to hear something thanks to their passive little perception roll. Oh, shit. As you leave oh, the cramped crap. offices, as you cr leave the cramped office, Patch, your ears are met with the metallic marching of an army, and you hear a group of them returning in uniform. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> The, I know what to do, I know the, what to do, I know what to do. Bye. <laughs> fucking you're, you're already hidden with the nat 20, oh, Yeah, you're still hidden, you never attack. Okay, you never well, attack, so you're still hidden. I mean, I'm- I'm- I'm fine, I've got a- I've got a 17 on my- or I've got a 19 on my, uh, what's my call it, so, you know. With you, patch, you guys are kinda screwed. With Patch being able to warn all of you, you all get one action as outside, you hear a commander Bonk with a said, strong I voice. Have armor. <laughs> uh, now, uh, save your ears, I hope you're ready. So, attack! Sean! Oh shit. Who the hell left this door open? Okay, I'm still hiding. before anything, I'm using a key point to use Step of the Wind to find literally anywhere to hide. <laughs> Ooh, with advantage Bonk here, dude. It's broke down, dude but was okay. very quick, very quick thinking here. Medic goes ahead, and unfortunately, it doesn't seem to get him much but near the back door if he wishes to leave. Lily, get me out of here. I'm out. See ya. 
<laughs> Medic uses his quick Medic uses his quick action uh, to go ahead and leave immediately. He is now just outside the building while the rest of you are still in. Uh, Bonk, how do you wish to respond? By the way, when you say that it's broke down, the office doors broke down. The others are still intact. The front doors just open. Whew. All right. Bonk, how do you wish to respond now that Bonk you know that they're Bonk said I have armor on right. Uh, yes, yes, you, you do. You are not armor. going full force attacking. No. Bonk. I mean, bonk. it is bonk. bonk. It is bonk. bonk. Think about this. Hearing the soldiers outside. Hearing the soldiers outside, you can hear some bonk of them said, stammering to them explain themselves. Ooh. Wait. Ooh. He wants to try to wear the possessed armor. What? Is that? Is no, that what you're bonk, bonk. Let's just run. Let's run. We gotta. Well, bonk, actually, think, about, about, think about our animal friends. Wait. Not that. <laughs> what is bonk? Armor. Think about our animal friends from Disney. <laughs> Wait. Hold on. What is bonk? Said my armor. Yes, your armor. What about your armor? Is he wearing armor? He is cooking. He's is he cooking? cooking. He's, is he cooking? Let him cook. Let him cook. Bonk said, is it like the dudes outside? Uh, yes, it is very much government standard chainmail armor. Government standard? Yes. Not me, I bro, this, this, this is I Clover writing the fucking the plot for this, bro. This is, this <laughs> the fucking is... light writing down all the names in the death <laughs> All right, Bonk, what are you cooking? I'm intrigued now. It's taking him a minute. That means he's, that means he's gonna cook. Already... Okay, let me lightning bolt a tree so they get distracted. Lightning bolt a tree with his smite? My man is on 2 million IQ right now. All right, he goes ahead and tries to get, land that smite. It rolls an 18 with the plus 2 oh my proficiency. Gosh. Oh, fucking modified 20. He chucks his halberd out of the window of the armory, hitting the tree outside as a loud smite can be heard outside. All of the soldiers and the general are stammered to attention as they go around the side to see what has just happened. Hell yeah, good shit, Bonk. Damn! They just bought- I shall now give you guys one extra move since he just bought you guys a whole bunch of time. Uh, Patch, what do you wish to do now that you're hidden? I, I'm still- I'm Casually still walks okay. out. <laughs> Everyone run. Just casually walk out. Uh, at this point, there's really nothing much to do. I do want to check around it. I'll just. I do want to loot, but we don't. Actually, have Actually, wait, so Patch. What? Patch, you should stay invis in the base and then listen to them talk. <gasps> oh, oh, I can do that. Yeah. I can do that. I can do that. Be our intel. Be our intel. Hatch yeah. stays inside the base. Then, all right, Hatson, it is like, your turn. Like, what do you wish to do with your who, then? Who, you know, who who broke down the door to Doctor Whatever's laboratory where he was keeping the notes about the. <laughs> 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 right, He's breaking the, the fourth wall right now. <laughs> Hatson, what right. do you wish to do with your turn? Um, me, Bonk, and the animals are gonna run out the door and just leave the place. All right, you go or, like, ahead and hide, continue out come the, through the back. Come through Bonk the back. said, "Wait, it's why just did a you nine roll." <laughs> because I wanted to see how gracefully you all did it, just to Bonk flex. <laughs> you, you, you walk out like a hood irony meme. Bro. <laughs> they wait, walk Bonk, out as unstylish. Bonk, Bonk said, "I don't want to walk out." What do you Bonk, want? What are you doing? Bonk, I'll take, you were so wait, smart wait, like Bonk. five minutes ago. Bonk okay, used I'll, I'll his take turn. The kids, I thought. Then. Yeah, hold on. I'll wait, Bonk used his turn, so it's medic's safe. turn. Oh, it's wait. medic's turn. Bonk before said, "Look for a spear, hail bread." Oh, you want to the retrieve stale the, bread? the stale the bread? bread? God damn it. Okay, <laughs> um... No, he slided the tree with a loaf! Alright, <laughs> he just threw a piece of fucking dough at the tree Bro. and instantly cooked and turned into a nice piece of All baguette. All bread. <laughs> okay, uh, since I already used my step of the wind, I'm just gonna, like, just keep making my distance, you know, just getting as far as possible as to avoid any conflict, maybe go back and talk to Colin. You, you should know. maybe meet up with Colin, yeah. There yeah, 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 that. Alright, as you continue through the clearings, said, you manage my dyslexia. <laughs> you manage to damn your dyslexia. So, anyways, Medic, you manage to get through the clearings of foliage outside, and you manage to meet back up with Colin with the documents. Hey, what's up, man? Here, look at this shit. <laughs> I mean, uh, oh, <clears throat> here, take a look at this. <laughs> Wow, you actually managed to retrieve it. I wasn't even told anything about this. They really had to keep this under wraps then. They did. Do you have any idea where this mountain could possibly be? Uh, I haven't heard much of it. They don't really teach us much here, but from all I can assume, it's probably north or east from here at least, seeing that it's a mountain. North or east, okay. So. Alright, huh. Bonk, it is your turn again now that Medic has finished his. What do you Bonk wish to do, Bonk? Gets. <laughs> so, so, far. so far, there's still room to mess it up. <laughs> 
All right, Bonk, what are you going to do with your turn here now that you have smited that tree? They're all outside at the side, by the way, so I will mention that some Bonk of them may said, see said, okay, you. I want to look for that cool ant. Yes. Ooh, looks for the cool ant. Let's see if you can find him. You roll at 18 and manage to find that cool ant. You pick him up off the little ground and notice the little shimmery hairs on him. Nice. Hell yeah, we're getting all the rat. What do you wish to do with the ant, Bonk? We're getting all entomology, whatever it's called. Bonk said main Just plot main. point. <laughs> <laughs> Bonk said ant. What? <laughs> Just add main plot point. Ant. Ant. <laughs> what ant. Plot. I just imagine like some guy walking into a fucking like an, a main actor like oh, imagine, Nick Cage. Imagine the entire company of fucking soldiers in general come into the room and they just see this like beefed up <laughs> soldier and he's looking in at, at his and an ant in his palm and he just says main plot point <laughs> ant. Then he turns back and keeps looking at it. Bro. <laughs> this is after lightning struck a tree. Like, <laughs> just cowboy came out of nowhere, struck a tree. Like, this is the fucking oh, Twilight Zone! Alright, alright, Bonk, what do you so wish confused. to do with that ant, bro? Main Bonk. Bonk said, I want to pull a prank by putting the ant on someone's deck. What? <laughs> Please tell me you mean desk. Please tell me. Okay. He goes. Ahead, he goes ahead and sets the ant right on the general's desk inside of the office, and then just. <laughs> what do you wish to do now, Bonk? You have one last little bit of the action. How do you wish to complete this? Make what do you do perfect. now that you set it on? This... What do you do now that you have set the ant on his desk? Make it a main plot point. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Bonk is cooking it up right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we're not doing that. All right. No. Roll for shit. <laughs> Pardon? He rolls in that one, he just farts. <laughs> L. Bro. So all you hear is just a little... <laughs> <laughs> he tried, he tried. Perhaps he right. trying. Bonk is still in the room, however, and now, that uh, after witnessing that smite, the go all, all of the guards in the general go ahead and try to enter the rooms. Okay. They manage to get in and get into the bed Bonk hall. said, let me look for a big spider. Bonk. No, Bonk, you have to go. I am sorry, but you need to find some sort of exit chance here. He How do you wish his... to get out of this scenario? Did he use all of his turns and didn't leave? <laughs> he, did. he fucking did. <laughs> he only gets one chance here. If he messes up, that's on him. Again, I am not afraid to kill you guys. Bro, I'm you're, still hiding. You're gonna I'm get, good. you're gonna get like tortured to death. Yeah, I'm just gonna be watching, like with my arms crossed next to Colin, breathing and meditating to get my key back. Hey, you're just gonna die. <laughs> Why are you doing this to yourself? <laughs> Bonk said act on a spider and climb on the roof. My brother. Oh my goodness. He goes ahead and tries to climb onto the ceiling of the office. He rolls a 15! Please and tell with me this plus work. In, And with his plus in dex, he manages to just get above the door frame and stand there. Bro. It's not much, but it's enough to stand on the door frame. Good job, as now what? Like as, as, the, as the general and all of the soldiers come rushing in, the general is absolutely upset by this, walking into the armory. Men, you better stay equipped! We're not done until we find these fuckers! Oh, okay, they're angry. <laughs> as the general goes ahead and walks into his office, let's see if he sees uh, Bonk. Oh my god. He rolls a 13, it's not enough to see Bonk <laughs> standing you, above him. Are you <laughs> fucking serious? <laughs> As he looks on his desk, he sees nothing more than the ant and that stench. Are you telling me an ant did all this? <laughs> <laughs> Are you telling me that an ant came in here, locked, picked our doors, and killed our armor? Yeah, pretty much. Wait, their armor? They knew about that. So the general goes ahead and smushes the ant on the desk. No! The cool the ant. The general. But. <laughs> And afterwards, lets out a cry in pain. What the fuck are these fucking barbs? The ant is also known as a silver-haired ant, which is known to have poisonous barbs on its edges. <laughs> Bonk said prank time. <laughs> Bro, prank in the armory gone wrong in the hood. Gone Patch, sexual. As you, Patch, as you sit in the armory, still Bonk blending in with the dark. 2012. 2012. 
<laughs> so, Patch, as you go ahead and are blended in with the darkness, uh, you hear the stammering of several soldiers outside. They are all just worried as can be. All of them are fearing for their lives right now. <laughs> Bro. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep listening in because th there's some good juicy stuff that they're gonna. I'm not in. I'm not sure if this ensuing panic where their main general just got poisoned is gonna have a lot of good information. <laughs> the general. Oh, what the general, angered with his own stupid actions, proceeds to go ahead and walk back to the bedrolls. All right, men, I'm f I'm fucking angry. So go ahead and undo all of your bedrolls and make them again. <laughs> what a douchebag! No, that was just on him. <laughs> the, me the men all go ahead and warringly. The men all go ahead and warringly go ahead and make their beds again. Although one soldier in particular, slightly bloodied, is more worried than others. Oh, the, the I'm gonna the go, bed go ahead. a little bit closer to him. A little bit, not enough to like. Ooh. Let's see. Uh, Let's see if. All right. I hope you know you're gonna have to pass every soldier's stealth check. <laughs> uh, you want to take back that? Oh, well, too late. <laughs> oh, oh. Beat the check. What? what? What does any None of this of the... mean? Alright, so basically, one of them had to beat uh, his uh, her stealth check. None of them rolled high enough out of the 15 soldiers. Oh yeah, they had to roll like above a 19, right? Above a 20. Above or a 20, 20 or above. <laughs> uh, none of them rolled high enough, so you managed to evade 15 stealth checks and managed to get oh. right underneath a bed to hear right in prime time. Let's Patch, go. you are literally Metal Gear Solid right now. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. All right, I want to listen in. Come on, as say some juicy shit. As the injured one, as the injured one stammers to go ahead and fix up his bed, he's noticeably slower than the rest. The general walks behind them. Come on, man! Uh, you know I'm the one that I'm most proud of when it comes to all of you. I raised you here. Do you want to be part of that expedition? He says, y "Yes, sir. Yes." Then he says, "Go do this, then." And then he goes ahead and continues to fix the bed even faster. Damn. What a douche. As wait, 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 wait. So they were raised? They were raised. They were bred for this fucking mission. Yeah. As he goes ahead That's and continues story. to fix up the bed, they all go ahead and try to reach underneath to tuck the patch in. And by that, I mean, like, the actual bed, like, no, not, 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 not you, Patch. Not, yeah, they're not tucking you I'm in. Like, why are y'all tucking me in? <laughs> <laughs> however, however, however uh, as the soldier is fixing and tucking in the bed rolls, now they have to go ahead and look underneath to, you know, tuck it right under there. Let's see if they notice you. Oh, shit. Wow. Nope. <laughs> they do not. You, as, you, as they go ahead and tuck their bed right in, they seem to pass a blind eye towards you, even if you looked right in their pupils. As they finally Bob managed said, to tuck him, in, go away for them, <laughs> sneak up on the general, and give him a wet willy. Bro, you're <laughs> you're still standing on the door frame, as far as I'm concerned. Yes, he is. So, as all of them go ahead and stammer to fix their beds up, they're now finally made, and the general exclaims one last time, "All right, men, they're still out there, and I'm pretty sure that ant did it, but we're gonna go find them anyway." <laughs> <laughs> As they all go ahead and rush out the doors, the parades go on the streets once again to search for you. Bonk said dumbass. Damn. Damn. This the, man doors all, the doors all closed, and you are all in here once again as they are all gone out into the streets. Alright, so me and Hats are just chilling again? in the sewers, I'm assuming. Uh, yes. Bonk and uh, Patch, now that the both of you are both just alone in this uh, armory, what do you wish to do before you leave? I'll give you one last action. I'm gonna... Bonk said I want to revive the ant. <laughs> He Do you want to use lay on hands on the ant? Yeah. That, our, this is our Bonk new Bonk, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Bonk. All right. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna roll to see if the ant's still alive. Any if it's a ten or lower, it's not. If it's an eleven or eleven to sleep. twenty, it lives. I have it. Kill the nineteen. The ant's alive. Yay. If you Here, find I... a snake, can I have it? We're just gonna this tame action. one of every animal. We're gonna start Noah's Ark two. Yeah, Noah's Ark the sequel. We're gonna get three. Of, we're gonna get three, three of every, of every animal. animal. We're gender inclusive in this. Let's go. So as you revive the ant, it noticeably just springs back to life and starts crawling amongst the desk. Hell yeah. All right. All right. So now, do you guys wish to leave the armory? Uh, for me, I want to. Bonk said, real "Put him quick. in a jar." There might be something in there that might actually be worth looking. For. So, I'm gonna look around, loot, all that. Okay. Bonk said, can I look for a jar? Alright, go ahead, let's see, roll for inspection here. You wow. roll a 19 with your modifier, that is a modified, I think, 22 or 23, I believe. So, 
uh, with that, you manage to notice that the soldiers seem to uh, have some sort of box that goes in one way and doesn't come out the other. They seem to contain something shiny and metal in there when you shake it, but you can't really make out what it is, but there's one by each of their beds. Huh. Would you like to take these boxes or inspect yes. them? Yes, I'll take it. You don't want to check what's inside first? Uh, I want to check first, like, each and every- can I check each and every one of them? It's just a- Well, there's- there's 15 boxes. Roll 15 checks! Only. Yeah! Roll 15 checks! Oh my god, are you serious? Oh my god, there's a what? There's a what? That's a lot. So, with the, uh, two modified 23s- or not 23s, 22s you have here, uh, you managed to break open one of the boxes expertly here and notice that there seems to be money in here. Oh! oh grab him! Grab him! Grab him! You go ahead and snatch each money. one of the boxes, each of them having varied amounts of silver and even gold coins in here. Oh, hell yeah. We're stealing from I'm these just... poor defenseless Bob soldiers who were bred for a me. specific mission under the tight-fisted rule of a horrifying watch. chief. Bonk said patch. The money isn't exactly even amongst all of them, but they certainly all do have at least some amount. Wait, wait, all wait. Alright, I'm half- I'm, I'm like caffeine it with like Bonk. Cause Bonk like, said you know. split the money, please. Yeah, Alright, we're gonna go ahead and see how much money you get here. I'm gonna roll 15 die. You can keep your blood money. God. <laughs> you roll a total 163. What does that so, entail? Amongst the group, all of you manage to split between the 163 silver pieces that you find inside. Hell yeah. yeah. And some of them even are gold coins. Oh, let's see how many. Let's see. Let's see. Out of the 163, we're gonna roll three die here. Let's see how many of those are gold coins. I love all statistics. Right. I love statistics. Wow. Uh, there's 12 gold coins out of the 163, meaning that you have 149 silver and 13 gold, I think that was, right? Yes. Alright, so let me move up Patch by 13 gold, putting them at 66. And then with the 143 silver pieces, that equals another gold. And then um, this up, putting you at 68.3 gold pieces, uh, Patch. I am rich. Hey, where'd you get all this money Monk from? Said, can I look for a uh, jar? don't worry about it. <laughs> Don't worry about it. For the ant. Okay. Oh yeah, can we look for a jar for the ant? So we can... Uh, yes. We actually, you actually go ahead and present the uh tip boxes to uh Bonk to put the things in. Ah, yeah. Nice. Your ant can the go ant, in the box. The ant now has a secure box and it can't be broken unless a DC 15 check Bonk is made said for it. give it some leaves. Yeah, give it. Uh, we, we want to decorate. Put Do like a little bit of sticks leaves? in there. I don't think they eat leaves. Leave. That's caterpillars, bro. And then, if there's any bread that's in the barracks, can we just, like, crumbs? Uh, there is yeah. one other door at the armory. Do you wish to go ahead and check that oh, to see if it's food? Fuck yeah! Come on, mess All hall. Right. Please mess hall. Fuck. Oh. They only roll a five. They look inside the pantry and see what seems to be just some, well, stale pieces of loaf of bread. Take it. No, they'll still eat it. Do it. Alright, you go ahead. You got yourself two stale loaves of bread. Yay. Alright, as all of you go ahead and leave out the barracks, uh, all of you finally meet up once again with Colin Xander with the newfound information Long you all possess. Alright, right at the, right. Right at the edge of the city, all of you are met with the high brick and mortar walls of the town. Okay, we're good. Bonk said, can I pickpocket Colin? Oh, uh, for fucks. No, you can. You don't have that skill, I don't think. <laughs> Oh, does he? He's, does he? He's, he does not. Okay, good. Just a half orc. Doesn't have a peace tool. Just a freaking half orc paladin going around pickpocketing people with perfect efficiency. All right. Oh. So, <clears throat> so as you all run from the uh, armory into the foliage above, just going ahead right near to the edge of the towns, you're met with the brick and mortar wall that surrounds the town. As you are now met with a forty Long foot said, high let wall. Me sneak up 40 Colin feet? and stand behind him and scare him. What? Scare Colin. Oh, Roll for scare. A little spooky. <laughs> oh, that was pretty fucking spooky. <laughs> <laughs> sneaks behind him, hits him with the ooga booga, <laughs> and uh, Colin is decently scared and uh, rightfully punches him on the arm. <laughs> How much damage does that do? Zero? <laughs> Bro, oh, he put all of his soul into that one. He, he, he does a little punchies, just like a eh, and just <laughs> he, char he accidentally Charlie horses him, that's where the damage is. Oh works. no, no, don't spike Colin. Alright, next turn, next turn. Moving on. All right. <laughs> So, now that you guys are here at the edge of the city, what would you like to do now? 
Uh, Can I explain what I what I heard? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I mean, I kind of I gave him the intel about the documents. No, okay. That's the most important part. Oh, un yeah. Unless you want to like roll for hilarity and tell him the story of how the the chief got done in by a fucking ant. You want to tell him oh, that? Yeah, let's go. All right, let's roll for storytelling. That's performance. You you tell the story pretty much exactly how it happened. You didn't sugarcoat anything. Yeah. Wow. You're boring. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, I'm so fucking boring. <laughs> Alright, so this is a 50 right, foot wall. No, so, Hatson, how do you wish to deal with this wall? Or do you want to find another way out of town? Or go back into town, whichever is your choice. Let's not go back into town with all of the guards Let's crawling around. Let's not go around. back, yeah. Let's Bonk not go back said, into town. let me dig under. Bonk oh, Bonk's gonna do the classic. Bonk's gonna do the, oh, wait, the Bonk actually, special. Actually, Hat Hatson, do you, want do you want to let Bonk try that? Uh, yeah, sure, let Bonk try it, and then I'll just have a go- I I'll have a turn after if- if he fails. He rolls an 11 Bonk's and proceeds to- Frank. He proceeds to punch the dirt, a lot, and has Frank bite some of the dirt. Uh, Frank, uh, collectively eats some of the dirt, saying that it was- <laughs> just tasted Oh savory. no, he's just like his <laughs> father! <laughs> Ante, why did- or, no, what- fuck. Nero, why did you turn out more like your uncle? <laughs> You're dead weight! <laughs> Sorry. It, it, it isn't successful, but the the crocodile's food hunger is uh, satiated. So, uh, oh. Hatson, what do you wish to do? This is like during the Great Leap Forward. Um, anyways, Bonk said, uh, come on, Hatson, help. Help with what? Um, <laughs> Eating dirt? Is this, like, is this just a wall? Bonk is there no way to get dude. on top of it? Like, what, what, what do you mean? Uh, I'm, mean, pl I'm, pl I'm planning to use acrobatics to try and get on top of my turn, so I don't know. You do. Yeah, because this is the city wall, like, bordering the military state. Imagine some Great Wall of China shit, basically. Oh, I'm Yeah, then there must be a way up, right? Exactly. That's, one way, on that's what I'm gonna try. You know, so, try what do you want to search for? Alright, uh, I'm gonna have my rats do their eight perception checks, and then we'll do <laughs> Oh my gosh. Well. This is so what? unbalanced, I love it. <laughs> do it, more, do it, more do it. Do it. Alright, you roll a seven, so only three rats manage. By the way, this is how I'm gonna balance it, by the way. You have to roll for, uh, like, your animal handling, and whatever the number is, is how many rats you'll be able to have. That's fair. It. That's passive. Right. Uh, so, no, but, like, they're just, again, just because you own your dog doesn't mean you can make it do flips. Yeah, and they're rats. Fine. And rats they're are right. very so, mean. Three rats, go ahead and inspect. Wow. Um, one, one of, of the rats died. The rats... <laughs> <No>. <laughs> uh, they, they, they just kind of, like, just eat some dirt. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, go on. Yeah, one of the one of the rats uh, hops into Frank's mouth and eats some of the dirt that's in their mouth. Uh, that's oh, disgusting. Just kinda, they're just kind of they're, they're kind of just sitting there vibing, just like Frank's holding. Long said, rat like Vader. <laughs> Fra Frank is Frank is just holding their uh, crocodile mouth open so the rat can kind of just chill there. It's, oh, it's a nice warm sweet. place. The rat that rolled a 15 manages to see that the inside of the wall is actually somewhat hollow and seems to have a passageway through it, almost like a tunnel. Oh. Uh. You don't see any secret entrances or anything Bonk to get said, into said wall, but you want to go for it? I was going to say, I, I would have actually punched the wall if Bonk ever beat me too. Alright, alright. Uh, Medic, it is your turn, so do you want to punch the wall? Mm, do I punch the wall or do I acrobatics? I want to look cool, so that's acrobatics. <laughs> Ooh, you roll for acrobatics here. Let's see how good you do here. So, as you go ahead and try to acrobat up the wall, you roll a freaking seven. Life. You go ahead and try to crimp your fingers onto some of the crevices in the wall, but you only manage to get about 10 feet up before kind of just getting stuck. Oh, okay, well, I'm still up here, technically. Bonk said I have a plus two in stealth, Well, you're in a position to help. So, uh, Bonk, what do you want to do? That's Bonk, how do you scary. wish to assist the medic here? Medic is about 10 feet up uh, with his, uh, I guess, not failed stealth, not stealth, acrobatics. I haven't been using the soundboard. Oh yeah, we should probably use the soundboard, shouldn't we? Hi! Ah, uh, I haven't been using the soundboard. There Bonk you go. You, you, you can add in post-production, no big deal. Yeah! Intimidate the wall to Intimidate fall. Intimidate the wall. You know what? Just because you're bonk. If you roll a nat 20. He rolls a nat 1. Uh, some of the wall actually goes ahead. Uh, due to a little crack in the wall, one of the bricks actually falls out and donks <laughs> you right in the head. Oh. <laughs> or more aptly bonks you on the head, but uh, oh. he oh <laughs> he did the thing. Uh, he did the funny. It, it doesn't it, it doesn't bonks do any it, ha, 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 ha. it doesn't <laughs> it doesn't do any damage, but it hurts your pride. Oh. Wait, so a punch in the arm from Colin did damage, but not a brick on the head. Bro. Yeah, bonks just kind of like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. That is absolutely fair. All right, skull. so Patch, what do you wish to do? 
fucking acrobatics my way up there. Ooh, so let's see. Patch was the professional last time, rolling a nat 20 for that. Let's see how they do this time. They roll you rolled well. the exact uh, same as me. I, I have what's a plus your, five on acrobatics. Oh, that's a 12, actually, yeah. So, you cheater. Uh, <laughs> the only, so, I'm gonna say it like this now. So, uh, with Medic already being partway up the wall, Medic reaches his hand down and actually throws you up to help get up the wall. Hey. You, manage, you manage to catch yourself on what seems to be an archery window, not exactly at the top of the wall, but at the midpoint. Oh. How did, how did we not see that? <laughs> Well, we, we should have, we should have, we should have rolled perception. Yeah. <laughs> Over. Did you get inside that window? Uh, it's an arch, it's an archery hole, so it's kind of like the size of like oh, your no. head. Mm -hmm. So unless Wait, they can get through an archery second, hole on the inside side of the, the wall. In case they get in. Oh. Yeah, that makes sense. Wait, 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 Patch, wait, wait, wait. wait so Patch, what are you doing at that uh, window? Wait, we didn't even check if anyone was th in, like, was inside that window. We just, no, you just did not. randomly threw me in there. You can and go then, for it like, though. Threw me up there, and then some guy probably was watching me. It was like, what the fuck? <laughs> so Patch, what do you want to do now that you're hanging off of the archery window? Uh, I'm gonna look inside. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a little peek in there just in case. All right, let's check your perception. Fourteen, and with the pluses you uh, should have. Uh, you notice more than nothing but a lone archer standing on post. He seems oh. to be sip sipping what seems to be coffee of some kind, reading a paper. Oh, okay. okay. He's, he's, he's chill, he's chill. Help him do he's his chill. crossword. Dude, he, yeah, he probably do his crossword. Read the funnies. Down. Read the funnies. Just read, All right. read, read it and what do you like, wish to do? It's, it's cracker. Um, well, if it's something like the Great Wall, I mean, how far are we away from... What? What? Let's hear it. What hats? Oh, Bonks said, Bonk said let me go, I have an idea. What's your idea? Alright, Bonks, volunteer in here. Let's see what his plan is. So let's see, uh, Patch is like 30 feet up off of an archer window. Medic is 10 feet up. You two are both at ground level. <laughs> Bonk said insult the wall to break oh, open. God damn it! Okay, no. Not, uh, you can do that on your Bonk turn. said um, JK. No, do it. Do it. You already died. Oh, listen. <laughs> There's no hey, take backs, bro. We, we, we probably actually can't scale this wall. We have to find a way that's suitable for our animals because me and Bong aren't leaving Frank behind. Okay. Oh yeah. Like, that's me see, that's the problem. And, and the rats all, might be able to go up the it. rope. Yeah, we'll go okay. up. Deal with this guy up here. You two do your thing or something. I don't know. Bong said idea. Yep. Clovey, we gotta find a. Uh, an entrance at, at like a tower at ground level or something. So, what uh, do you want to search for? Up. Would you like to make a roll? Let's, uh, let's search for any, uh, like a, a tower Bonk along said, the wall or a door a or something like that. Or that, yeah. Fortunately, Bonk, you don't have any uh, plans for sewers. Unfortunately, there's nothing like that mapped out here. But let's see if there's any extra entrances with a 13. And what is your uh, perception rolls? Let me see here. <laughs> It could pass or not, depending on what his modifier is here. Uh, where do I check perception? Uh, it's your, it's a skill for wisdom, I think. Oh. Uh, wisdom, I have a, a skill level of 10 and a plus 0. Okay, it's neutral. Uh, you don't notice to, you don't manage to find any sorts of hatches or passageways. Uh, but as you do notice, as you look amongst the ground, you do find another really cool looking ant. <gasps> yes! Jar. Jar. Alright, you managed to put the ants in two separate Bonk jars said free them. No! No! <laughs> Create a race of super ants. What? what? Wait. I you were way too true. quick to say that. I am So, true anyways. So, Medic, what do you wish to do with your turn? Um... Yeah, let's try acrobatics again, see if we can get up to that archery tower and be like, Hello, friendly citizen. Up, with, yeah, yeah. With, with, advantage, with advantage, thanks to Patch being up there to help you. You roll a 19, and with your plus in acrobatics, that should be a modified 21? Or 22? It's a plus, it's a plus 3 in acrobatics, I'm checking. Yep, plus 22. Alright, so, uh, you managed to go ahead and get right up there to the archery window, and you managed to actually, while you grab the ledge, one of the bricks slip out, nearly making you fall, but opening up the crevice just enough for you to fit through. Oh, alright. Uh, which one of you would like to go through first? Hey, be careful up there, how big are you? I can go in first, if you want. Yeah, go ahead, Patch. 
All right, Patch, as you go as you go ahead and enter in, uh, the archer standing at the post kind of just looks up at you, just, eh, the fuck do you want? Uh, uh hey, yo, what's up, big guy? Eh. Uh, help him with his crossword. 14 down his help? peanuts. Yeah, do you need help? Eh, uh, I just like doing these on my own, honestly. It's just uh, a nice, I, I guess, way to pass the time. Yeah, if Bro just saw a brick, like... Like, is this, is this like a casual thing that happens to you? This is like, just, just like, average yeah, day on normal the normal conversation. No, I, unlike most guards, I get paid by the hour instead of by kills, so just go do whatever. Oh, shit. Hey! So I'm gonna pop up Yo, my head like, hey, what's up, man? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, oh, if you're here to pass you through, I'll do whatever. You ask him, he's Scottish. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, should, you should do you, do you, ask him for directions to the nearest yeah, uh, post to the ground level. Yeah, do you know where which way to go? Uh, we're just a little lost here. Look, uh, when it comes to the walls for a town, unfortunately most inside areas only really are on the diagonal parts. But if you want a ground floor level one, uh, usually there's some bushes with some trapdoors nearby. Hey, Archer guy! Do you oh, know where this, like this- You know where this yeah. mountain is? Bonk said bush no like a, I forget what it's called. It's somewhere- Fucking- Uh, Colin! Bonk said not the bushes. Colin, what's the mountain called again? Just yelling out the out the yeah, little. He's yelling down. Bonk said PSTD. As as you go ahead and stick your head out, uh, you go ahead and look down back at him, and he goes ahead and yells right back up to you the name of the mountain. <laughs> right, just yells back up the name of the mountain, just like, all right, it was Stalfront Mountain. Yeah, yeah, thank yeah, you. All right, Stalfront Mountain. Which, okay, where is that? Tell me where it is. I mean, <clears throat> where is that? Can you? Hey, chill, Batman. Can you tell me? Yeah. We're not really told much about Monks this anywhere. Not bushes. Uh, I could give you any instructions for anything in town, but outside you're on your own. Alright, Wait, thanks anyway. Can you I'm write it through. down? Alright, cause no trouble. Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, as, uh, as the two of you go ahead and uh, explore down the Bro, walls, go ahead and I'm not paid trap enough for Monks and I'm gonna let them pass. Wait, we didn't even ask him how to disarm those traps. Anyway, traps. bye! Wait, trap doors? No, never mind. Get the trap doors, not trapped doors. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, now knowing this convince him to join the party. Convince the archer to join the party? Yeah, it's no. a lot of persuasion. Yeah, persuasion. Bonk, you're on the ground. Hey, you know, we've got like a cool story. Oh Are you God. fucking. <laughs> so, join us? We have two ants that look cool. You rolled a 19, and with how much charisma? You have like a plus two, right? Who, <laughs> me? Are you uh, already yeah, after me right? or Bong? Uh, my patch. charisma no, is, is, is zero. It's zero. It's not plus two. Oh, okay. So, uh, even with the 19, you managed to convince him a little bit. He spares a glance from his crossword. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, I guess. Since you guys are so casual about it, I'll help you once or twice and then I'll go. Alright? Cool! Yeah, no worries, we got you. Nice I to have you. I gotta, I gotta be back to check in by my post by midnight, so that's all I can help with. Yeah, we get it. Yeah, what, no time, what time yeah, is it anyway? Yeah, what time is it? Uh, at the moment, it is currently 6 p.m. Uh, the sun is a bright golden caramel color as it's nearly setting. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Alright, welcome to the yeah, team, man. What's your name, anyway? Yeah, what's your should, name? You should ask him, uh, where in town we could get directions to that mountain, or who would know? I, I doubt anyone would know. It's just some private military company, and anyone who knows about that mountain is probably Long military said, personnel anyway name. and wants us dead, so let's just, yeah, you know, I don't think that Anyways, you ask, you ask Stroll in with an alligator and yeah, eight wrath. What's your name? My name is Dolfo. Hey, pardon? Dolfo. Pardon, sorry. Sorry, my, my common's a little rusty. <laughs> well, As in, like, Adolfo Hitler. Adolfo Hitler, okay. Okay, no. cool. Adolfo, like no. Adolfo. He doesn't exist no. in this universe, guys, come on. <laughs> he never Dolfo. existed. Alright, Dolfo. It's, it's, spelled, it's, it's, it's spelled like this, by the way. <laughs> ah, yes, I, I see. Dolfo. No. It's nice to meet you, no. <laughs> Bro. No. Oh. There you go. All right, let me offer a hearty handshake to my new friend. <laughs> so, as all, as all of you go ahead and unlock the doors, uh, you now have access to the very tops of the walls if you wish to run, uh, run across those. Bonk said, Ooh. does he have any keys? Let's Naruto run across these walls. Yeah, Naruto run, let's go! <laughs> so, as you go ahead and finally reach the top of the wall, you finally see one last overview of the city that you guys have spent your last day in. You realize that here, you might have done much, but in the grand scheme of things, it is still very small. But in the very large distance, you still see the huge fire breaking out. It's actually spreading downtown. What? Why is there a fire? Oh. 
Remember we burned down the mansion? <laughs> oh yeah, that was pretty funny, wasn't it? Say the How do you feel about arson? How do you feel about arson? Does it mean I get more money? Then I don't care. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. You know what? You're very set in your ways, and I like that about you. All right, let's get the hell out of here. I'm sick of this town. So, as all of you look amongst Monk the town, a goblin. you take one last look amongst the town, realizing the grand scale of everything you've done. In a weird way, some of you might even miss this place. As you look amongst I the flaming mansion, mask that goblin. <laughs> as you as you look among, as you look amongst the town, you see a large creature flying through the air, flying right towards the castle. You see, now, upon closer inspection with this tall view, you realize just what it is. Oh. As you look through, as you look, you see soaring through the sky like a streak of light, something of scaly, wet almost appearance glistening Ooh, in the air. Said dragon. <laughs> it flies Arden. right. It flies right towards the uh, flaming uh, castle and dives right in without any hesitation. As it oh. comes back out, it emerges looking almost like a phoenix in the wind as it goes against the bright afternoon sun. You notice that it carries two bodies in its mouth before leaving town and heading back where you once came. I'm traumatized. Roll for trauma. Oh, I said the masked man. <laughs> Wait, yeah. Can we do a perception check to see what the bodies look like, maybe? All right. Uh, you guys go ahead and roll your uh, checks. And Bonk rolls a nat 20 and notices that it does seem to be what seems to be the severed bodies of the masked men that uh, have been defeated. Vision. Oh, shit. <laughs> 2020 vision. <laughs> nat 2020 vision. <laughs> That's actually clever. All right. So yes, it was the masked men's corpse. So he's kind of on our side, or maybe he's just doing it indiscriminately, and it's a huge coincidence. Anyway, let's get out. All right. As all of you are now uh, led to the outside which way to of the nearest town. Uh, he to said the he... nearest town. Uh, well, I don't know much about outside, but I do know how to get down here safely to the other side, though. All right. We'll, we'll do that yeah, first. Let's go do that. You know, let's cross that bridge when we get to it. Uh, so, as you go around, Dolfo goes ahead and reaches around the town, leading down one of the Bonk diagonal said, can areas. Can you pass a rope down, guys? It seems. Oh wait, it seems to have, still not seems... here. <laughs> Whoops. Uh... No, no, you guys remember you, you went down to the trap doors. Oh right, right, right. Up. Yeah, well, duh. So he leads to a diagonal part of town where he seems to bop one of the bricks right on the top part of the uh, tower, and it seems to eject some of the bricks from the wall to lead downwards. Oh, that's cool. That's a neat little trick, Dolfo. <laughs> As all of you get down, he goes ahead and bops it once more, and then seems to almost float down to you guys. The fuck? Uh, sure, you know, let's Bonk just whatever. Said, can I pay him to join us? <laughs> pay him? Oh yeah, he's a huge money nerd! Maybe we can use some of the funds we, uh, <clears throat> uh borrowed from the military. You wanna Hatch. try to go ahead and convince him? Well, tell me yeah. about yourself, Dolfo. Yeah, let's hey. get some info first. Well, I've been working here for, uh, what? 12 years now or so, Good but Lord. that's really all that's important as of now. Pays well. Do you ever want to take a vacation, perhaps? I mean, How many vacation not... days do you have stored up? Can you call in sick tomorrow? <laughs> eh, Come not on, really. Sid, are this you is... goblin? No, I am not. So. <laughs> Bonk just has no sense of social like norms in any capacity. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I thought it would have been obvious by now, but no, I'm Bonk not the Then why do you like money? Bonk. Because what can because what can't money do, my friend? Think about it. It gets you food. It gets you drink. It gets you, sometimes even women. It cannot get you love. I'm so fuck. I don't know why I imitated your accent. Sorry about that. It can't get you love though, man. <laughs> or adventure. Just start imitating him. <laughs> like. <laughs> <laughs> to, to me, liking money is like liking life. Really, it just makes sense. Money gets you at everything, so I like everything. And everything is money. Monk said shut up the moment TF2. <laughs> can, you, can you not be rude to the guy? You know, he's just telling us about his philosophy. But what about a sense of adventure? You know, money, sure, it can get you places, but like, if you don't have the ambition said, to go okay, places, my bad dude. what's the point of the money? You know, you're just gonna keep it in some, like, bank? That's no How fun. How much money do you have? Ask him that. Yeah, that's a rude question, but yeah, what is How much do you have? <laughs> Well, you'd be surprised. I mean, to be fair, I have been keeping myself from getting promoted, actually, because then I get up to, well, money per kill. I'm staying here where it's money per hour, so I can do whatever. Smart, smart. My man's got his finances down to a T. Seriously, how much, though? Lazy. Eh, I'd say close to what? Ten gold a day? For 13 years? 
Hey bro, uh, can you can you give me a can, can we can we spare some spare some change? No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Maybe, I would I wouldn't ask if someone I just met to give me money. Can you, you can guys maybe get me in on, on that on that <laughs> on that juicy job you What happened? said patch. Well, I was gonna I was jokingly asking him for an in on. I'm on not his picking. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> Alright, so, pickpocket. as all of you can- <laughs> Alright, so, as all four of you- well, six of you now, actually, two NPCs. Uh, yes. as the six of you go ahead and traverse down the path, you, uh, go ahead and notice the swamp lands that seem to approach beyond you. You know you must go through here in order to reach your next location. Oh my gosh, Frank. Frank. Frank, Frank knows his Frank. swamps. Frank's gotta Frank. know his swamps. This is, this is his home. Let him out there. Let him do his Long thing. said Frank. Alright. Anyway? Oh my gosh, it's gonna be the rats riding on Frank. Bonk said, get him a GF. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Are you guys about to have a romance arc for Frank? Yes. Well, we already have a romance arc for the cool ants. <laughs> Might as well. <laughs> so, as all of you go ahead and explore into the swamps, all of you notice uh, that it's starting to get very dark. You're wondering how you're going to set up for tonight, or do you wish to continue through the night? Well, let's keep walking. It's not even, still not even midnight. We've still got to avoid the awful, so let's go. <laughs> Frank's domain, <laughs> bro. A stroke the entire time. Frank will warn us of any danger. Like, uh, yes, bro, he, does he have has a... night bison. Yes, he does. And Frank also has a keen sense, which means he has advantage on smell and perception checks. Nice. Let's All right, go. send him out. Let him scope oh, out the area. The rats have, the rats have uh, uh, night vision, too. Yes. They do. So, as you all go ahead and continue into the thick swamps, the terrain is a little difficult, so I will mind you, in any combat here, if you're in a marshland, your movement speed is half. Oh. Okay. Ah, no problem for me. I just have a uh, step in the wind. You guys are screwed, though. Sorry. <laughs> as you guys go ahead and continue throughout the swamp, as, this, as all of you go ahead and continue through the swamp, it has been about two hours that have passed, and since then, you managed to travel about two and a half miles. Now, we, mal we shall roll for random event here to see where the story takes case. Oh, dear. What does that mean? What does the two mean? I have this written down. <laughs> I'm scared oh, for no, my life. I don't life. like that laugh. I don't like that laugh. But please stop horny. Don't be horny. <laughs> stop it. <laughs> stop being horny. That was bonk, not me. <laughs> I know. Don't worry. Yeah, we can so, see. So, uh, anyways, uh, as you all continue through the thick swamp marsh, all of you seem, <laughs> all of you seem to notice some sort of warm, glowing light coming from some trees about a kilometer down. Huh. Do you wish to go ahead and inspect this light? Yep, roll for perception. <laughs> roll for perception, okay, let's see, medic. Yes. Ooh. As you go ahead and look through the thick trees, it's hard to make out much, but through the uh, damp light that you see from the blight orange iridescence, you see what seems to be a paper lantern moving. So as all of you go ahead and continue on throughout the swamp marsh, uh, you go ahead and are met with the sight of three carriages strong against wooden uh, wheels. Ooh. They seem to have some sort of tarps lining the tops of them, preventing from rainwater getting them wet, and it seems that they're elevated almost to go above the swamp man swamp land. Oh wow! So they've got like tracks. That's pretty cool. I wonder what they're transporting in those things. Hmm. Would one of you guys like to go ahead and uh, make initiative to talk with them? Bonk said me. Uh, I think I have negative right. one charisma. <laughs> Someone else All right, Bonk, it. go for it. What do you want to? Wait, Bonk, do you want to let Hatson do it? Yeah, Hatson's a bard. Come on, he's got like charisma up the wall. All, all of my charisma. Rolls. Bonk, you're not gonna walk up to a bunch of random merchants with an alligator and expect a positive response. <laughs> All right, Hatson. Uh, since it is your time on the cycle, since oh, you did God. just make fish, you made your you made your fish. Yeah, roll. You, you, made, you, you made your fish roll. You got your crayfish. So Hatson, as you go ahead and approach the wooden carts, you see what seems to be uh, two pointy-eared individuals, one being tall, one being short, coming Goblins. from one of the cabins. Goblins. Goblins. What would you What would you like to ask them? Goblins. <laughs> <laughs> you just go um, up and whisper like, in their face. Hey, where, like, where are you going? You know, what are you transporting? Uh, can we travel with you? Can we travel with you? That's pretty fucking hasty. You just met him. <laughs> we we don't we don't discriminate here. You know, um, yeah. we treat all races equally. But we've got we've ways. got something different. Wait a minute. Bonk said, "I want to walk up and intimidate." Why? <laughs> Why? So, anyways, for, wait, hold on. So, for Hatson's role, uh, they immediately respond. What does it interest you? Oh, okay, so they're dickheads. All right, go ahead and intimidate them, Bonk. <laughs> no! Just, just I, okay, I respond. 
Well, you know, it would be nice to have some traveling companions. Other than, you know, the two we've picked up already. <laughs> and traveling Frank. Companion? You seem to be going the complete opposite way from us, so what does it interest you to do anything like that? We're just trying to get money. Oh, wait, are they going into the town that we just left? They're going into the town. It looks like. Yeah, it oh, seems okay. like. Well, well, then in that case, I'll ask them where they came from and how far away it is, and if they know anything about that mountain we talked about. What are I looking for? Cool. Yeah. Well, well, we're just here to make a profit and a living and go. We have no interest in going about our, well, origins. What if you have something you want to get, then go ahead. What is it with all the people in this place and just being fucking greedy? Bonk said, may I buy? Go. Bonk what wants do they have to buy? For sale? Oh, wait, yeah, what do you have for sale? That has a good question. As you, as you look amongst the three carriages, two of them seem to open up to a little wooden desk with a little tarp Bonk over them. Bonk said, what do you have, my fine sir? <laughs> to buy a desk? Rolls for Riz. That was a... <laughs> Nah, three. Alright, but anyways, as they go ahead and open what seems to be a little dainty shop, you notice that one of them seems to be holding some sorts of mystical artifacts, and the other, uh, selling some everyday goods. Who cares about everyday goods? Let's check out the mystical stuff! <laughs> no, we need an everyday stuff. That's important. No! Okay, ask no. Mystical. <laughs> <laughs> it has mystical in the name. We as gotta you, see what they got. As you look amongst the items they have for sale, three seem to stick out to you in particular. One being a cloak of some kind with a green tattered coloring, one hash. being some sort of amulet, and for one me. seems to be some sort of handbag. Can you just, can you just Bonk ask said, do you have about, a watch like, skin, sir? All right. Can you just tell us what they are? Like, if you're selling them, like, we'll just ask you about, like, oh, what does this do? Yeah, what does this do? Wait, tell me what the cloak does. I want to know. The cloak? Uh, well... This is something that we had passed down from one of our elven friends. Whoa. Uh, fortunately, they, we can't really say that they didn't have some sort of criminal record, but it seemed to be a lucky charm of theirs. Oh, don't worry, we're wanted. Sometimes. It's not even that big of a deal. Uh, so you as well. All yeah. right, you know what? We'll go ahead and give you this at the... Eh, whatever, we'll give this the normal price. Sweet. All right, how much? This cloak is about 50 gold pieces. Good god, what is it? B magic? Oh, probably. What does it do? <laughs> Maybe we should get it for Patch, since Patch is the only one with enough money Box to buy it. Alright, um, oh. can you just tell Any me what it does? You know, give me the, give me the ballpark. Any effects? Anything? Does it turn you invisible? Like does it let you shoot fire? <laughs> or is it, does it just look cool? I mean, if it looks really cool, oh, I might buy it. Up to strange tape. As you, go ahead, as you go ahead and look at the cloak, you notice some sort of magical feeling coming from it. It's indescribable, but there's definitely something about it. Alright. I don't know if it's 50 gold pieces worth of a feeling. So what are the other two? Let's see the jewel. The other thing. Let's see the jewel. What about yeah, the other? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm on it! The other is the amulet of some kind and the bag. Alright, let me check the amulet. As you check the amulet, you see what seems to be some slight little gem in it, and what seems to be surrounded by some sort of silver and tungsten surrounding. Hmm. Okay. Um... As you hover your hand over it, you feel a certain magical sense from it, almost like it's warm, emitting heat. Oh my god, it's a fire amulet. Alright, that's pretty cool. Um, how about the bag? Let's see, maybe it doesn't have, like, a lot of storage? Is it, like, bottomless or something? Bond said I bag. want to talk to him about it. As you uh, go ahead and reach for the bag, you don't notice any kind of particular magical essence from it, but as the go as the store keep goes ahead, before you even ask, they go ahead and open it and shows the bag's contents, from which you can't even see the bottom of. Oh yeah, this is like infinite storage shit right here. Hmm. Okay, that's pretty cool. Now, so, how much gold do we have? You guys, uh, just to check how much gold you guys collectively have, uh, you guys currently possess, I'm not gonna look at the total here, but Patch has 68, Bonk has 31, Medic has 21, and Hatson has 50 silver. What, what did you spend your money on? Uh, a lot of things, I think. The hat, and the ink. Oh yeah, that's... Oh yeah. I'm gonna say you guys are around like 125 gold or so. Alright, cool. Oh, so the, so the cloak goes for about 50, the amulet goes for about 75, and oh, the bag God. goes for 50 as well. That's a lot of fun, that's a lot of money. Uh, what about the everyday things they have? Ask about which, those. Fine, go ahead. Be boring, I guess. <laughs> Amongst the everyday things, you see what seems to be some very hardy rations fo uh, featuring foreign foods you've never seen before. They're said to have some sort of savory taste to them. That would be really useful if we didn't catch our food literally every session. <laughs> <laughs> Amongst I mean, it, you also see some water skins from what seems to be an animal you can't even recognize. Where are you guys from, anyway? What is this? What kind of fur is that? 
Uh, we're from around, well, east in general. East, all right, cool. Haven't oh, been. Long haven't long been. What's the weather like there? Without the ruby. Very, very warm. Ah. You want to sell the crown with the ruby? Why would you want to sell the crown? Oh, without, without the ruby. Without. Oh, without the ruby, okay. As you go ahead and hand them the crown, they notice... My, the, the gold on this is... What the... I'm not even going to ask where you got this. Honestly, this this could be worth quite a bit. How does... Hmm. How does 80 gold pieces sound to you? Uh, no. Uh, no. Do you want to no. push your luck and try to barter? D no. Barter! 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 No. Barter! No. Riz! 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 Are you sure? Barter. Okay. okay. Alright. Because I, I will mention this could be a mess up on your guys' part, but let luck decide who wants to be the one to barter. Uh, I have negative mm -hmm. one charisma, so you, Hatson, you. Hatson goes ahead and Look rolls three. with their uh, modifier. It's just a plus three, 13. putting them at a 13. All right, with the 13, they're not very stagnant on it, wondering why they'd want to barter for more, but they take peek in the interest. So, does this crown really matter that much? It's, it's pretty important. I'll, I'll throw in an extra five gold. That's all you're getting. All right, 85. Oh. Bro, we need we come on. We, we, don't you want the amulet at least? Better, it's better sat on the head of Frank. Bonk we already have enough. the cool oh. hat for Frank. The cone? What cone? What cone? Bonk just like transported an ice cream. Bonk said, "Sell reality. him the crayfish." A fish? What? You're gonna get like five silver for that? They're, we're in a swamp. Yes, you are in a swamp. <laughs> <laughs> Well then, I just had to turn on the swamp sounds real quick. Yeah, my bad. poison. <laughs> what are you gonna sell oh. next? Your your fucking hair. Just leave. Hatson, well, why are you okay? Why are you so like before, no before you can, about buying before anything? You, before you can sell an, before you can sell another thing, you have to finish the sale of the crown. Wait, Hatson, why are you so like no on selling anything or buying anything for that matter? These guys. Oh, because, listen, listen, okay. Hey, okay, that cloak. Is worth a little bit less than a like a solid gold crown embedded with jewels. Like think about that. Like I think they're ripping us off, man. They're ripping us off. I felt it with my hand. It's got something to it, man. And not even to mention the amulet. Like Bob what does that said, thing let's do? Rob them. <laughs> oh my god! It's just that snatch and grab. Option, really? Wish. Snatch and grab. <laughs> Do you really want to go for it? Cause you can. Monk said I headbutt him. You got. You guys want to fucking right. rob them? <laughs> does every Does everyone agree to this? What about Patch? Uh, yeah. Patch is Patch, Patch has narcolepsy. Yeah, Patch is she's fine. <laughs> um, Let's just say you guys settled down somewhere she's safe. On Frank. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna use one of my keys to uh, activate Step of the Wind, and since the amulet is the smallest Woo! piece there, I'm out taking it. See ya. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and roll for deck. See how well you can move to the swamp land uh, with your plus. That's like a 13, I believe. But with your acrobatics, that should be like a plus four, or three, right? Plus three. It's plus three acrobatics. Plus three. All right, with the DC 15, you actually managed to go ahead and escape to go ahead and try to pursue you with javelins. <laughs> they go ahead and throw some at you, seeming to miss their shots. But now the others are left with one action each before they must go. What do you two wish to do? Bonk said, I want to drop kick one. <laughs> <laughs> For no reason. <laughs> All right, Bonk goes ahead and tries to drop kick the main shop keep. Rolling at that one, they jump oh. in, they jump into the shop head first. Bro. They go ahead and jump into the shop head first. Bonk said WTF is with me today. I don't know, man. You're off your rock here. Off your game. Today. So, uh, hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna oh. command Frank to bite one of them, and then I'm, I'm gonna stab the other one. Ooh, or actually, okay. no, they're elves, right? Yes. Uh, I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm gonna like swipe that bag or I'll swipe <laughs> the cloak and I'll run. You swipe the what? The cloak. cloak. Okay, no, swipe the cloak, and let's see how well both of you roll. You roll a 19 and swipe that cloak and get moving while Frank stays with Bonk here. This is a solo fight between uh, Bonk, the, uh, his croc, and the people inside. Alright, Bonk, how do you wish to handle Bonk's this? better there run than ride Frank. There are three elves. Bonk, I don't know if you can take these guys on your own. Bonk said I want to use the amulet. Yeah, actually, let me ins if, if I can, uh, medic, let me, use, can uh, I inspect the amulet? Uh, you notice that this will require some sort of magical attunement in order to use it. You'll require a short rest at least for this. Uh, is there any way for me to take a short rest during the conflict? Or... No. No, short no. rests last around an hour. Okay, then never mind. I'm just talking that. Alright, good luck, Bunk. 
Alright, uh, so Bonk, this is a solo fight for just you, so this is gonna require your brain with, Bonk uh, said I want to put the main shop in the bag. <laughs> put him oh. in the bag! As you go in, <laughs> let's see how you roll for that. He rolls a three! No. As, you, as you fumble with- fumble around with the bag, you realize that it has some sort of safety latch to prevent it from accidentally opening. You try to struggle with it, but unfortunately, it's taking far too long for you to open. Although, you finally do open it at the end of your turn. What do you wish Frank to do? Ooh. Where are the rats? This is a solo. Uh, the rats are with you guys. Oh, oh okay. I got the rats. Yeah, don't worry. Come on, Bonk. What's your next? What's Frank gonna do? Come on, get Come him on. to get him to rip we his fucking teeth out. Said tell Frank to remove his legs. Yeah. <laughs> not not to bite their legs, to remove them specifically. <laughs> By any means necessary. <laughs> and, and with the plus four to hit, it manages to work. They go ahead and just gobble up their legs. Bro. <laughs> uh, they are left incapacitated as they are basically crawling with their lower half at this point. Oh, they go ahead and try to retaliate and hit Bonk. I mean, not Bonk. Uh, but how are they retaliating? I would be screaming at this point. Well, these guys are yeah, like trained elves. Really <laughs> they go ahead and try, but uh, Frank is just too strong and completely overpowers them and just munches on their bottom half. Oh, <laughs> dear God. All right. Oh, the, fir the first other elf goes ahead and tries to attack. They only roll a seven and do not manage to get past your uh, incredible armor bonk. They try to stab you and it just flinks off them. <laughs> and also Bro. the second elf goes ahead and tries to attack. They roll a 12 and that's not enough to get past your armor either. They go ahead, stab, blink. Both of them are fucking confused. Oh no. Bonk, it is your turn. <laughs> Matt's pulling out that dollar store dagger on my <laughs> <laughs> When they pull out the one dollar mace. <laughs> Oh. I'm just impressed more than anything that Bonk isn't eating everything in these last two sessions. True, he's been doing great. <laughs> hey, the Gator's eating some dirt. Yeah, no, he's making up for lost time, but still. Gator, <laughs> dude, Frank must be so happy. He just got to eat someone's legs. He ate oh, dirt shit, yeah, that's nutrition. Eating fish in the street. Bro, that's a tasty meal right there. Bonk said, I want to slam oh, for intimidation. For intimidation. All right, if you succeed on this, uh, they'll gain disadvantage. <laughs> oh. You go ahead and try to slam the man by his legs. What legs? Like? Try. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Alright, what do you wish for Frank to do? Bonk said, damn my luck. What do you wish for Frank to do, Bonk? <laughs> you should get Frank to intimidate them. Yeah, They'll Frank is pretty fucking scary. Role. And, dude. Frank just devoured Bonk someone's make lower Frank half. Hole for intimidation. He's gonna finish him off even though he's already down. Mm, tasty meal. You and your rolls today. A three. Again. <laughs> Frank, Frank, Frank is happy at the thought of finally having a full meal, so he savors the taste of this one. <laughs> the other two elves go ahead and try to attack Frank instead, realizing <gasps> that you're fucked. He rolls a critical hit on Frank! No! Not Frank! Oh no, they go ahead with their dagger trying to pierce into Frank and it goes ahead and stabs right into his head. Let's no! see said body block him. Oh. Oh, they... It, unfortunately, Frank's skull is just too fucking thick and it just goes ahead and only pierces his flesh. His scaly flesh. Oh no, not Frank. <laughs> Frank in retaliation looks at him and bites Bob him. Said, okay, I'm mad now. That's fair. Ooh. And Frank rolls, Frank rolls a modified 23. And Frank rolls a modified 23 and just completely releases him, him of his arm. Oh my god! <laughs> they are now intimidated by Frank and not even you. The last elf goes ahead and tries to land and see what happens here. It does not work. Frank just continues. Bonk, what do you wish to do? Bonk, feed him. Bonk is mad now. Bonk is mad. They stabbed his gator. Take care of these heretics. <laughs> Get it? Cause it's how it <laughs> Make a sacrifice. Oh shit! Right, you guys took a short rest. You could smite. You could, you oh, could no. smite him for his misdeeds against Frank. <laughs> oh god! Whenever Bonk goes completely Bonk said, I am heretic medic. What? Imagine. Alright, Bonk, what do you wish to do to this man for stabbing your gator? 
How how do you plan to repay him for his actions? I mean, he ripped out a random guard's head and spine attached, from what I remember, in like a normal oh, that's battle. Not important. In a normal battle, mind you, not like no vengeance required there. Like, what is he? What heinous activities is Bonk cooking up right now? <laughs> like he's angry. I would be angry too, but like Bonk takes Bonk brutal. Said, okay, tie him up and dangle him right above Frank. <laughs> oh, what the rope? We have rope. He goes ahead and just does that, let's see. Oh. oh, 18! He goes ahead, takes the tarp, and unwinds the cord holding <gasps> it up, and dangles him right from the shop line. You go ahead, take out the marker that they had in there, and write, for sale. Oh. <laughs> and then let Frank have a little bit of a kebab. <laughs> <laughs> what do you wish to do now for your final action, Bonk, now that uh, the other two are just fucking dead? What do you plan to do with this final man? Floor him. Do what I did, do the goblin special! The goblin yep. special. Nicholas Cage. Nicholas Cage! <laughs> Bonk said throw him to the moon. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Please be a 20, please be a 20, please. Oh. Aww. He rolls an 8. He tries to throw him, but he forgets that he's still attached to the rope that he just tied him to. He only breaks his spine. <laughs> he only breaks his spine, and he is, don't hurt him, Frank. he is he is paralyzed from the spine up. Up? Uh, Bonk said heal wait, him. Eddie, do you remember that? Heal spine? him! <gasps> he's gonna torture the fuck out oh, of no, him. Oh my heal goodness, Frank. this is heal brutal. Frank. He heals the man. He is unparalyzed. Oh, he's, he's pulling he a Josuke. Frank. And with the proficiency, he goes ahead and rightfully just restrains him once again. Bro. Holy shit, this Bog! Is, this is like... This is disturbing. Alligator food. <laughs> Holy Frank shit. Likes his meals he, pulled, he pulled the Josuke, he healed- Beat the fucking- Paralyzed him from the waist up. And then healed him again. That's why- No, no, he didn't paralyze him from the waist down, he paralyzed him from the waist up. How does that even work? His legs are just fine. His legs are totally fine, yeah. Hey, bro, well, Bonk, not the other guy, Bonk's but... over here, like, just violating every part of the Geneva Convention. I actually laugh at him! The Geneva to-do list. <laughs> <laughs> what to-do list? The laugh just crushes the man's soul. Regardless of after all the shock of the pain that he has been through, the man just succumbs and dies. Wow. He's now hanging no. from his feet. Alright, at least we can take the bag I now. Bonk said heal him more. <laughs> Bring him back to life. Hey, Bonk, you just, you just the man, the there is no Inner. mistaking it. He is dead. The man is dead. Like, there's nothing you can do. He's dead yeah. dead. So rezzing. Uh, wait, Bonk, you should take all their valuables in Bonk their cart, and we can him use to their cart his now. Hair oh, we can you just, steal their cart. You his heart? You take Are you heart. kidding me? What the f- oh my fucking god, you smite him, but nothing else is done but just extra pain. The man is still dead, but he's dead beyond dead now. He's feeling pain in the afterlife. <laughs> Bonk said more to more. The man- the man just goes, ah, what the fuck? God's just looking at him, just like, what happened? He's like, he did it again! <laughs> that confirms there's a god Bonk in this universe, let's go. To god. <laughs> All right. Bonk, it is, your time is up. The, it, the man is dead, the caravan is empty, except for all the others that witnessed that event through the window and ran. Alright, um... They ran with all their valuables, and least, now uh, the caravan is empty. At least we can take the bag, probably. <laughs> so, uh, now, me. Medic and Hatson, both of you guys are, uh... No, uh, Bonk, you cannot. <laughs> Pray to my god to revive him! No, you cannot walk. <laughs> Unfortunately, there is no power bringing them back yet. So, what do you mean yet? Uh, uh, he can get it eventually. So, oh. Medic Hatsman, do you two wish to go back to the caravan and uh, go ahead and look at the aftermath? Uh, yes, Bonk's please. Uh, yeah. Yeah, let's do that. All right. He goes ahead, and he, uh, you two go ahead back Bonk to the caravan. Yeah, we can take the carts. Hatsman already mentioned that. We can probably steal their carts. Now that, that all of you are valuables, take everything. Now that, all, now that all of you are met with the three caravans, uh, just completely empty, you guys now have three swamp traversal carts, and they seem to be left over with what seems to be some tip jars as well as money uh, cashier registers. Let's roll for how much money there was in those. Oh, nice. We're horrible right, people. Money. Roll for money. Oh, oh 30, a fat yeah. thirty-nine gold. 
Oh yeah, let's Bob see how much. I want to take the tip jar and smash it over the dead man. <laughs> oh my god. Jesus. Twelve gold coins total, and the rest is silver. A fat uh, twelve well, gold. Let's say Patch told us. Yeah, yeah. It was all Patch's fault, guys. <laughs> Just, hey guys, I'm Patch. Don't worry, I'm still here. <laughs> So instead of spending all that money, you guys just thought that was for losers. Um. <laughs> and we took all of their things. <laughs> okay, so, right. uh, so our bounty must be now, in like the millions now. <laughs> uh, your your guys' bounties did actually increase. So, it works like Skyrim, by the way, where uh, it doesn't matter if anyone saw you do it. It, it just matters if you did it. So uh, what was uh, Colin and... Ah, oh, that's a real action. Re said I want to this. intimidation my party. <laughs> they watched from afar, oh, but... Stop. But Dolfo looks at it with a blank stare, just thinking, eh, well, Give Dolfo worse. some some of the money. Yeah, give, give him, like, give, five Dolfo, Dolfo's a G. He deserves some cash. <laughs> yeah, yeah. As the three of you all are settled up in your carts, you realize that with the night finally settling, the swamp is becoming an eerily dangerous place as you hear sounds and growls going about. Do you guys wish to spend the night sleeping in these caravans where it is warm? Uh, yeah, let's do that. Yep. All right. Said we can tame the animals. <laughs> All of you guys, go ahead and uh, set up camp inside these caravans where you are safe from the deep outside of the dark swamp. You guys go ahead and lay your heads among Long the wooden crevices with the lanterns leader. inside, and you guys all go fast asleep for a long rest. And that is where we Long shall end our session. All right, sleep. that was pretty good. Cool. I do not care, Mark.